what's up hello i'm here how are you good to see you oh my gosh been so long let's talk how how's your family how's your mother what's going on with you don't let's not bring up the fact that i'm late let's talk about this i mean it was just like first off it's mcdonald's fault but anyways um yeah i think we're to stick with this schedule of 8 a.m video and then 10 a.m for a stream started streaming a little bit earlier honestly didn't do much for me i don't oh gosh got a little got a little something going on there that's okay it'll go away but i think that's kind of be the new go ahead is we 8 a.m video 10 a.m stream what's up everybody maverick nice and early good to see you hello sonicu hello good to see you my friend hope everybody had a fantastic sunday i spent a lot of my sunday learning hearts of iron 4 i'm doing this playthrough with this guy Ooh, let me pull up his name literally he's such a good like youtuber like he understands the pacing that this type of video needs hold on i want to pull it up i want to brag about him i want to brag i want to talk to you about him he's so good um flying dutchy hold on let's bring this up so flying dutchy has this tutorial series that i'm working my way through for anybody who wants to learn hearts of iron that has like a second monitor he's doing it at a pace that like yeah this is everything you need to know on the screen here's what all this does and it's just like i'm following along and i'm doing his playthrough with him and it was just like i'm oh this is exactly what i needed flying dachi i'm on episode five but I eventually really like to do some hearts of iron content as well corgi you feeling the og plan Corgi, you feel you foul. The OG clan's not number one. So we'll get it back or not. It doesn't matter. You play Hearts of Iron yesterday? I tried. I'm learning it. I'm learning it. I don't know how to really play it quite yet. But that's initially in the plans. What we're gonna do today is probably just play a lot of territorial and then i'm thinking about a multiplayer session uh no no i really shouldn't okay here's what we're doing today we're doing territorial all day i'm going to learn more hearts of iron tomorrow we're going to do uh domination and and territorial and then eventually hopefully either later this week or end of next week we're going to start putting in some hearts of iron territory hearts of iron content so that's kind of the plan so let's go ahead and fix night pot together because right, today we're just going to do territorial i figure it's a good time to put in a bunch of hours on territorial so let's get the docket and just say territorial all day nice and easy docket and let's go ahead and start out with our dailies so let's sync let's do the wordle oh come on that's china brother easy bonus round all of its neighbors okay we got myanmar that is kazakhstan i actually don't know what this one is off the top of my head oh that's north korea north korea we got mongolia we got laos i didn't realize Ken uh, china had this many neighbors that's kind of crazy like their entire like you know state department program is probably just their neighbors like how would you have time for anybody else okay is that macau okay that must be hong kong then yeah uh bhutan india no india russia Afghanistan. Yeah, hell is even that? Is that Kyrgyzstan? Yeah. That's Nepal. And that is. Yeah, hell is even that? Dude, I guess I guess 15 of 16 
knowing them all i got confused with macau and, and hong kong i think that's a fair one but i knew every single other one i don't know what this is i'm trying to even think where this would be i mean it's not like you you can rule out the north you can rule out the stands we got nepal and bhutan which are the small ones the hell is this tajikistan f dude f that looked a lot smaller to me i don't know why that's the capital bay okay it's beijing with an i good to know nailed it all right let's do some travels okay syria to bangladesh syria to bangladesh okay so i think we go iraq Okay, hold on. Because if we go Turkey, we could go Armenia. Then we could go Russia. Then we could go China. Hold on. Okay. We can go north, which means we go from Syria to Turkey to Georgia to Russia to China to India to bangladesh okay so that's it in six but if we go syria to iraq uh iran pakistan india that's the fastest okay iraq iran pakistan india yeah that was a lot harder in my head than i was trying to make it out to be that was like a very easy one although let's go perfect 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 all right good travel let's do you uh usa we need to go from wisconsin to washington dc washington dc everyone okay so i think we go michigan here in fact i'm just gonna do it it's michigan to ohio we didn't need michigan Frick. okay to West Kentucky's in there somewhere. West Virginia. Same, same. To Virginia. Okay, I didn't need Michigan. Where the hell was I supposed to go? Illinois, Kentucky, Virginia. Okay. So that was one extra. That's bull crap. Anyways. Do the weekly challenge. Weekly challenge. I like to go from Cambodia to Egypt while traveling along the coast. Go from Cambodia to Egypt. I understand the mission. Uh, first off, we're going to go Thailand. And I'm going to get this perfect. We're going to go Thailand. Then we got to go Malaysia to get around. Okay. And then that brings us to Myanmar. And then from Myanmar is just straight. Oh, no, you know, you know what? Bangladesh. Bangladesh has got some coast. Then we can go to India. Okay. Then it's Pakistan actually has a coast, believe it or not. Some people don't know that. Uh, then it's Iran. Then it's not Iraq. It's Kuwait. Oh, no. Is it Iraq? Did I literally just lose it because Iraq's got a, a sea thing? Oh, frick, I did. Okay, Saudi Arabia. Dude, I lost my perfect on that. Freaking Iraq. I didn't think how to coast. Okay. Um. Qatar. Okay, then the UAE. Then Yemen. Ah, oh, frick, Oman. And uh, then we need to go to, I think it's just Israel right here. Jordan? Okay. I mean, we got perfect. We didn't get the perfect perfect because we had some extras or some out of line. We guessed Iraq lit. Like, we guessed, we didn't guess, I. we guessed uh, Kuwait before Iraq. We mixed up Yemen and Oman. 
Major fail. Major fail. Jordan apparently has a, a coast there. That's cool. All right. And then let's do the flaggle. A yellow flag. This immediately rules out Europe altogether. They don't like... Wait, is it Ukraine? This immediately rules out all of Europe. They don't like bright colors. They suck. Uh, anyways, we need a yellow flag. I'm trying to think of anywhere that has a yellow flag. And I'm not thinking of any. But it's far away from Ukraine. So... I know it's not Brazil, but let me like Peru. I know it's not Peru. Okay, it's close. It's in South. Oh, is this Colombia? There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. I forgot to use the distance indicator right here. I forgot to use the distance indicator, but Venezuela, brother, you're so far off. How embarrassing for you. Venezuela has a yellow flag on top but it also has an icon dude a little thing right there how embarrassing for you how embarrassing because <laughs> obviously the colombia flag is so vastly different it's so incredibly different dude you thought this flag was this flag just but looking at the top how embarrassing you didn't realize they have this thing <laughs> obviously i'm being facetious the two flags are incredibly similar all right Let's play some territorial, boys. And we got a minute for the contest, so might as well wait, wait that minute. The Vatican City has yellow? Yeah, but they got a bunch of other stuff going on. More of the story, Europe is very a very dreary place. They don't like bright colors. Now my Vatican City guess was more embarrassing. But honestly, when we're talking about yellow flags in Europe, I think it's just Ukraine and Vatican City, right? I don't think anybody else has yellow. Ah, excuse me. Came out of nowhere. I have to blow my nose after this. I said Brunei first. Ooh. Does Brunei have yellow? I don't actually remember Brunei's. I know Nepal's got the sick flag, though. Vatican has purple and white. Someone said Spain has purple in it. I was like, where? Spain has pink? Yeah. I thought I saw the pink in like the emblem, but someone said it had purple. And I was like, I've never seen purple. By the way, this is like, yeah. Oh, we got Danny G on. Let's go. Speaking of Spain. All right, let's go, boys. Okay, I'll separate a little bit. We don't all need to be there. Maybe some of you separate a little bit because you're all, like, right on top of each other. Yeah, I can block all three of these guys out. Okay, goal is just to block these guys. And push through you. Hello, thank you for subs uh, following Sarah, or subscribing to Sarah. Yeah, let's knock this guy out. If we can help knock out this guy with Yvonne, then we just win because we're in a 1v1. Yeah, let's go. That's very big for the team. Okay, we actually have the crown out of this. So we just need to knock off this guy and then we can start donating forward. Now we don't have anybody to help us with this, which is fine. But we do need to be a little bit on the slow side. Now watch this guy. Is he getting heavily donated to? Lesser? You just want to take him out real quick? You just want to help fight that, that guy down? Ah, oh, 
Frick, that 112 guy's attacking him. That was dumb. All right, let's try and get up to our red interest. I hope I didn't send Lester to his death, but Pharaoh's down there too. Okay, where's Luna? It, Luna is not... Yeah, you got good. You're good. We're all fine. We're fine. Um, Do we think we can work down this guy? Yeah, good. Okay, let me start working down this guy and I can start donating. Let me do my part. There we go. He full donated away. These guys won. Good, 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 good. Okay. That OG guy's gone. Where is Frozen? See if he's getting donated to. He is. Okay. I will just donate to two dogs. Two dogs is in a good position to kind of take over. Don't donate to me. Don't donate to me. I'm in the back lines. You never need to donate to me. Moral of the rule is don't ever donate to me. I probably don't need your troops. Donate to someone on the front lines. Yeah, two dogs. Take your time getting down there. You don't need to rush down there, brother. Yeah, now, might as well fight him now, though. Oh, that guy just full sent. Tony just full sent. Let's go. Fight him, two dogs. Get him down. Boys, we need donations to two dogs. There was a cuss word on stream. Yeah, there was. I'm sorry. This is the internet. I'm surprised you've made it this far without seeing a cuss word. It's it's something adults do sometimes. And here's the thing with curse words is it's not exactly bad to use them. It's only when you use them like continuously. It just shows you lack vocabulary. Like cuss words are great for imp for like impact. For like really stating like this is how you feel and be like yeah if you don't ever curse and you drop an f-bomb people are gonna know you're serious but it's when like it's f-bomb 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 like every other word in your vocabulary that's when it comes off vulgar and unintelligent because you lack a vocabulary to describe to use other uh, descriptive words besides f i don't think there's any like old ladies fainting like oh my god he just said the f word i think that generation's come and gone are we playing what time it is how how very exciting what a great use of the chat <laughs> it's this time for me well, that's pretty cool what time is it for you it's this time for me i would know i could just see that uh, time zones work cool using my collective knowledge of humanity device this generation's no no words feel different i don't know about that I don't, well I, first off i don't know what this generation's no 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 words are i think the australian no no word really hits for whatever reason like the c word the australians use like that just kind of um that one that one strikes me as like whoa bro <laughs> when someone says that i'm like whoa bro calm down like you're 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 be, you're out of control if someone just drops that all right gg corgi we're not in first og is this is what i've been telling you guys i'm doing my part but it's just like the streams are never enough to keep us in first place it doesn't matter to me if we're in first or not. 
In fact, I get less hate if we're not in first. It's when people aren't playing outside of streams that we lose first place. It's fine. It happens. It's a never ending war here. It even says it the never ending war and they're not that far ahead. We could pull ahead again today. Are you trying to get first? No, I'm not. I'm playing for fun. I've always said that. Hi, Dennis. Aziz, stop sleeping. Start playing 24-7 again. No, that is horrible. The entire clan voice chat shouldn't live or die based off Aziz no lifing this game. Like if you're if you're just gonna pop in for if you wanna if you want if it matters to you whether we're in first or not, pop into the Discord when we're not in stream, go into the voice chat and start up, you know, if you just hang out there, people will join. It's just kind of like one of those awkward dances where everybody else is looking for the first, the other person to make the first move. It's like, just join the Discord, just join the voice chat. People will join. That's literally 90% of what the Discord's there for is for people to connect with each other to play outside of stream. Yeah. But it is crazy behavior to be like, where, where's the Z's? Where are you, Pharaoh? Huh? I haven't seen you lead a, a Discord voice chat in quite some time. It's been 84 years. <laughs> Once one person joins the voice chat, others do. 100% true. 100% true. There we go. Now we got the boys. Torgi, you saved me. Who were you? This guy? Who's this? Why does it not show his name at all? Is this a Corgi boy? No, it's just, a, oh, it's a dot, I see. All right, let's try and give some money to Corgi boys. Thank you to whoever blocked me off for no reason. Curtis, can you boat over? Can you boat over and I'll give you a lot of trips? Try again, Curtis. Bigger boat. Bigger boat. There you go. And then let's pump up Theodore. Sweden, stop. Uh, let's stop attacking. Let's try. And, well, it doesn't matter. He doesn't have a clan tag. We're fine. Never mind. Do, do your thing, Sweden.
Corey, I'm the one with a bad word under you. I'm guessing you are 9 to 12. That's kind of the age range that I think that finds, like, curse words humorous. You're 9 to 12. Welcome. Welcome. How was the fourth grade? <laughs> I think P cursing was in the seventh grade for me. That's fair, Star Master. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really, like, dude, have you ever talked to, like, a seventh grader? Most uninteresting people on the planet. Their entire personality is curse words and, like, some popular TV show. Probably these days, like, Rick and Morty, I think, would be there. I don't know. Maybe there's something new hit new with the kids. But their entire personality is just quoting lines from a TV show and curse words. I'll never forget. Oh, dude. It's coaching this baseball team and it was like a it was like an eighth grade team and me and my dad have been coaching for 10 years he actually been coaching for longer like 15 my dad quit on this team he's never quit and he was just like i don't have time for this kids would never show up they didn't take it seriously i was just like i've never had this problem with any of my teams before could not get these kids to show up could not get them to take it seriously and it was like wow you have broken my dad as a coach <laughs> But the thing that was so annoying, drove me insane about these kids, is anytime something slightly bad would happen, like there was an internet reaction of a guy going, oh, like, and they would do that for everything. Kid drops a ball, oh, and it was just like, God, I hate, I hate these kids. Don't get me wrong, there's some good kids, but it was like, I hate, that was the first time I was like, I hate this generation. <laughs> All right, let's do contest. Yeah, that's really annoying. Literally most annoying is like when your personality is just impersonating somebody else's personality, you are an annoying person. You are not interesting to talk to. It just shows you have like zero creativity, zero self-confidence, which as a child, you know, it's fine because you know you're learning how to have those things. But it's just like, oh my God. It was, I dreaded every day going to practice. It's like, oh, I gotta deal with these kids again. <laughs> Kid drops a plate in the cafeteria. Oh! Come on. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. Not a personality. You're just an internet meme. Gosh, you're not even a good one. School is like the free to. Uh, trial of life. Yeah, school's the tutorial and then you get out of it and go, wait, I didn't learn anything. <laughs> None of the stats I leveled up are any good. What the frick? None of the stats I leveled up are good for any of the things I need to do now? Alright, good luck, boys. Remember, we need Africa, we need Asia. You three better not leave. You three better not leave. Stay there. Stay there. That's a good power core. Please don't spawn on me. It's insane behavior. Remember, we work backwards, we clear this out, we go forwards. Well, actually, we have a pretty good line here. We should clear this guy out, though. So, Kurdish, Myanmar, Samtak, Corgi, you guys should be working down this India guy. Our advantage is attacking now. So, if you have someone to work with, work with them. Take them down. Good warning shot.
Good job, boys. Good job. This is looking real sharp. I need help. I'm gonna be honest. If you if you need help within the first three minutes, you're probably dead. There's nobody to come to help you. Just hold out for as long as you can. Excuse me. Just hold out for as long as you can. Don't if you're if you're in a situation you know you're gonna lose, don't attack. Just make them use all of their troops on you. Ooh, I attacked for way too much or donated way too much. I'm back. Welcome back. Brother, you are attacking for way too much. Once a cycle, 10%. But you're getting attacked right now, so you shouldn't be attacking. Because now you're opening up a hole. Same with you, Testis. Why are you attacking when you got someone who has 900,000 on your border? Slow it down. Slow it down. Like when someone's attacking you like this, they're baiting you to attack them back. You don't have the troops. Wait till you have the troops. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. Stop getting baited into it attacking. Wait until you have a better number. All right, boys, if you are not donating, you should be donating. Get up to red interest and donate once. Donate about 16%. 15, 16% is good. Now test this go. Now charge in. You have somebody helping you down here. There you go. No, 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 no. Go after the big target. Go after the big target. Good boating brain dead. Where's rapid? Okay, good. You're working over your way down south. We just need to protect Africa from this guy. Fortunately, he's not being too aggressive. South America, North America, we're not looking good. It's fine. We got a strong person over here. Ultimately, Americas don't matter as much as getting these Africa and Asia. If we have if we can even hold them off over here, we've done a great job. But if you're in South America, honestly, it's not even. Unless it's a 1v1 game, it's not even worth going over here. You're just going to die. North America, yeah, we can have some people over there fighting. But our big concern needs to be over here. Same thing with here and here and here. These really aren't value, super valuable land. It doesn't matter if we get them or not. Now, obviously, this is like stream play. How to play with a big 70 person team if you're in just a regular team's battle yeah go wherever's best for you go wherever you think you can have the advantage but in the team game where we have 70 people we need to coordinate with we got to get here some people over in north america slow them down never anybody here never need this this maybe one to two even though pharaoh's here we don't ever need anybody there Gorgie, when we hit 25k, did we hit 25k? Oh, we did. Let's go. Huge.
Louie, you went down here, brother? We go like there. You know, right there. Always need a champion like right there. GG's, boys. Looks like you're due for a 25 hour stream. Never, bro. Never. Could you imagine? All right, let's do Africa. We're catching. We're still like a point behind. What's up, duo? Good to see you, brother. How late am I? Dude, you're so late. Oh my God. We took attendance 36 minutes ago when you weren't here. Teacher's so mad at you, dude. I think you got to go see the principal. Okay, we're doing Africa. I just got blow my nose. Okay, we're back. Sam, bro, I'm sick today. Yeah, I'm like feeling okay. I'm still a little bit tired. Well, I still just got the sign. This is this still just running through. I, it don't when you're sick, don't you just remember the good old days where you could breathe through your nose? Ah, oh, like all those years I took it for advantage for uh, advantage. Oh, by the way, I finished the Fallout series. I'm gonna give that a solid nine out of ten. The only reason I'm not going to get a 10 out of 10 is I'm real sick and tired of freaking shows giving me a cute animal to kill it. I'm so tired of that. Don't do that to me. I'm always so fearful when I'm watching a movie and there's a dog. I go, no, don't kill the dog, man. <laughs> not like this. Come on, man. It's 2024. We're all having to deal with inflation and all this crap like don't throw a dead dog on top of this please <laughs> i just don't need that right now bro homie just got heavy donated too well, that's pretty high rating yeah it's a great ad adaptation fantastic It's got just the right amount of humor into it, which fits into the Fallout universe without being like, oh, dude, we need to insert a joke here. Like, it, everything fits. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna give it a few days for everybody to watch it so we can talk about it. But, like, there were some scenes in there that truly made me LOL. I'm in no man's land. Boys, don't donate to me. Donate to CR. I'm just a punching bag. Donate to CR. Donate to Crazy Rules. Me when Winnie the Pooh became a horror movie. Yeah, I haven't seen that. Who's this coming down? You go get it, buddy. Go get him, Bubbles. You get that crown, Bubbles. You get that crown! What country are you going to play as Domination? I don't know. It's voted, voted upon. But well, we're not playing Domination today. I know it has the thumbnail on it. I just forgot to change it. GG. But I want to start doing some Hearts of Iron stuff. When Manor Lord comes out next week, I want to do some Manor Lord stuff. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit of variety. A little bit of variety. I think 
I know Hearts of Iron will have a good place on the channel. I'm going to experiment with Manor Lords and see if people like that or are interested in that. Because it's not specific map. It's not ex exclusively a map game, so I don't know how well it'll do. Corgi, get a new haircut? Nah, bro. I just got out some showers, though. Manor Lords? Yeah. Manor Lords look sick. Manor Lords is like a combination of Crusader Kings 3, Banished, um, Total War. I would say those three all together. Hearts of Iron 4 multiplayer, single player. I am just learning how to play the game, so it will be single player. Like, I am literally following along up with um, Flying Dutchie's tutorial series on my second screen. I'm doing the exact same thing as him. Just to try and learn. Contest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're waiting for contest. Multiplayer doesn't sound fun, not gonna lie. Yeah, honestly, I think a multiplayer game session of that would take like 10 hours at least. Like, that would take forever. The 1112 clan person's life? Yeah, it's Danny. My vacation's over tomorrow? Back on the road for three weeks this time? Dude, I thought you literally were back for two weeks. It feels like you were you were back for like one week. Maverick, that's crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong, having a week off is probably real sick. Ten days? Uh I mean, it's still pretty cool to have. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a pretty cool schedule. I like to get that much consecutive time off in a row. But granted, I'm sure like of those 10 days, four are probably dedicated to just doing chores and things you need to do around the house. And like, you know, oh, frick, I need to go to the DMV. Whoopsies. What's the 1112 guy's channel name? It's like Danny San. D-A-I-N-S-A-N. No space. daniel -san. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. But if you go there, just go there as a viewer. Don't go there to, like, lobby him to do anything. We're fine. Just be respectful and understand he speaks Spanish. So, you know, don't go in there and be like, why does nobody speak English? I don't know Spanish. You know what? Same, bro. Like, unless we're talking about what, how to count to 10, I'm, I'm probably not going to have a lot to talk to him about. <laughs> it's just like, oh, oh Roja. Roja, Negro, Verde. I can do colors too. That's all I know though. Donde estas los biblioteca? Do you think that will come in handy? <laughs> oh, Christian. I, I'm giving you cover. Uh, you know what? I think it's best to be saved. I think it's best to be saved. Grizz could maybe get over there, but I think it's best to be saved. Oh, brother, I'm getting bullied off the board. Don't worry about me. Oh, this was a contest I screwed up. Let's just make sure we clear out this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is like a great example of this is a losing position. So what do I do in this position? I hold out. I hold out for as long as possible. Do not donate to me. What are you doing? You don't save those on a sinking ship in the middle of a battle. You you give the cannons to the to the big guys who can fight back. Like Ashu, donate to Ashu. Ashu's in a prime spot. Donate BB. Those two are much better than me. Who do I donate? 
cashew. Or actually, if they add is, the, is that the real Aziz? I think it is. Aziz is also a good one. Uh, just Aziz. Aziz is the, in the best spot possible. As long as he knows to work backwards and fight this guy, which I think he will. He's, you know, the best player in the clan, so. Corey, have you ever played Hearts of Iron unlike Domination? Uh, you choose Democracy or Fascist to lead the Civil War? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm understand I understand the mechanics of Hearts of Iron. Mm. Yeah, BB needs some donations potentially. Yeah, BB needs donations right now, boys. This is an all hands on deck. Everyone give BB one donation. Every single person on the board give BB one donation. Yeah, there we go. All right, just one. You just need to give him one, just a little boost. Now go back to your regularly scheduled programming and attacks. Rip Corgi, that's my fault for random spawning in the contest. Uh, this is a problem, boys. There we go. Good job, Aziz. Corgi's hearts are in for harder than the domination. Yes. I would say that pretty easily. That it's a lot harder than domination. There's a lot more mechanics, a lot more menus, a lot more things. The only thing that's nice is Hearts of Iron Four tells you what everything does. You hover over something and be like, what is this? And be like, oh, it's this. And be like, oh, dude, thanks so much. That's so helpful when, like, I can actually learn what something does instead of just playing it for, like, 100 hours. GG's boys. Well done, well done. 361. Nice. Alright, be right back. Where's the chair? I, I just was blowing my nose. I'm leaky today. Yo. Yo. I didn't actually leak. All right, let's do the world. Grizz is gray in French, I think. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I don't speak a, a lick of French. Yo, what's up, Zero Winter? How are you, brother?
Oh, but another series I've been watching that I finished was Parasite on Netflix. It's a South Korean drama where basically like body snatchers. And let me tell you, that is hilarious for the one feature that like clearly South Koreans don't have guns and don't know guns. Because like the only way to stop this creature is once it's taken over some something is you shoot him in the heart. And they think the best weapon to use, like the government thinks the best weapon to use is a shotgun. And it's just like, as an American, you're just sitting back like, what? A pump action shotgun? Why not like a spaz shotgun? Or I don't know, or anything else, like a large caliber rifle that you can shoot from a large distance so you don't have to be like right next to the body snatcher to kill him. I was just watching that like, oh, sweet, sweet, naive South Koreans don't know guns. <laughs> like it's like don't they have mandatory military service wouldn't they know a shotgun is like the least inefficient way of killing these things buckshot doesn't need much aim yeah i understand the, the like the idea of like even using a shotgun but why a pump action shotgun because what happens if you miss and i'm gonna spoiler alert they die like if you miss the alien the alien just kills you What are we talking about? The, this movie Parasite. Like you, the way you kill the parasite is uh, you shoot the, it the parasite takes over a person's body and you shoot them in the heart. And they're like running up to these guys with a pump action shotgun and shooting them. And if they miss, they go, Ch -ch -ch, and then they try it again. And it's just like, just get a, like a, just snipe them from range, brother. <laughs> Corgi problems up north, we're fine. Who's this guy? Who is this guy? It's gotta be like crypto or something, right? Like the only color this matches is like this guy. He's dead. And I'm not making a move on this guy. Oh, it's you down here. Okay. That makes sense. Sky is the best clan. Brother, are you even in the top 10? Like, all, with all due respect? Like, I think you gotta, like, qualify what you're the best in. Don't be one of those guys who just goes USA number one. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude, we're number one in aircraft carriers. Let's go. We'll show you why we don't have universal health care. <laughs> GG. Ooh, wow, brother. Coming in hot. Telling people to shut up right away. That's crazy. You just go and time out for a few minutes. Maybe come back with a better attitude. Why are replay links so long? That is a great question. I have no idea. Like they take up the entire screen. It is pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty funny when Americans are like number one. Cause we, I mean, we were the number one economy for so long. I think we still are, or China maybe has finally taken it. But we were the number one in a lot of things for a long time. You know, something about the rest of the world being destroyed in World War II, but then us being unscathed was pretty sick. <laughs>
yeah i think our healthcare rates below ecuador's currently so that's pretty sick obviously not in quality but just in like overall because the accessibility is so low for so many people i'll never forget my friend who's a nurse was telling me about this one guy who had a heart attack and waited an entire day to come in because he was like hoping it would be nothing and he wouldn't he didn't want to spend the money on um going to the hospital he came in the next day and you know what happened to him he died homeboy had a heart attack and died uh let's do i will do a free for all contest Did you know there's only two countries with purple in their flag? No, it's a lot more than that. Countries with purple. I think it's like four. Uh, three. Dominica, Spain, Nicaragua. El Salvador. El Salvador, does it have purple? I don't think so, brother. I think that's red. Anyways, good luck, every everybody. Excuse me. Great spawn location. I mean, it's not the worst. It's definitely not the best. This guy's got a really good spawn location. Let's we'll just finish this up no matter what. There we go. LOL. Homie spent so much time trying to attack me, he got immediately attacked himself. Attack somebody else. There's so many other targets besides me.
Brother, I don't even share borders on him. It's always crazy when someone's like, attack this guy. It's like, you understand that, like, I don't have a border on him. You gotta go. Yeah, I'm not letting you have a border on me. Cool, Stone Power, let's go. Yeah, East Coast, Best Coast. You have to boat a lot farther. Greenland. Greenland big. Good job, Greenland. North America feels stalemate-ish? Yeah, I'm in the stalemate. There's nothing I can do. Like, this guy not doing anything absolutely sabotages everything that I could do. This guy's about to die to this guy because nobody's challenging him. I can't do anything against this guy because there's no one to challenge him with. We're in a rough spot. Crazy that you attacked me. This guy just made enemies with everybody. I'm not in a position to attack anybody. I'm dead. I'm donezos. I can maybe benefit from a large attack from somebody, but outside of that, I'm dead. That guy full sending was crazy for you. Chef still hasn't realized. That's really bad for him. He could get all of Scandinavia for free and he's, he just doesn't see it. It doesn't really matter what we do over here. We're all playing for sandcastles at this point because the champion is going to be this, one of these guys. Somebody from elsewhere. Help out my buddies. I mean, Greenland is definitely still in this. Zero Winter, I love that you have Australia. Mongolian Empire is going to be a rough one to take down.
Oh no, zero! You die! No, zero winter. Wow. I can't believe Greenland's not finishing up this guy. He's going into Beerland with no help. Like, this is... Like, I would question this move only because, like, this is a game with full sending. So if you attack this guy who's, like, not that much weaker than you, you get full sent. Who gets the land? Not you. You're going to get cut off by player 653 and chef. They're going to immediately jump on that, even maybe Arctic. And then you're going to be in a weaker position potentially than you were having to fight stronger enemies. I don't know about that one, chief. I would have just taken out Arctic. Literally boats just for my kill. Oh, nice. You got boated? Yeah. Corgi has 15 pixels? Yeah. But look, even with me full sending, this is a huge stalemate. The champion's not going to come over from over here. Even these two, the emerging champions of North and South, are stalemated against each other. I agree, but Beerland attacked me, so I had to counter it a little bit. I understand. Okay, so Beerland attacked you. That's why you gave a little sh shove there. I was so confused. It's like, why go into Beerland before you take out this guy? Like, now you can go into Beerland. I think that'd be a good move. I mean, this guy is moving his way up, but ultimately you won't be able to fight him. I don't know. He, this is the only way he's going. So you know he's coming up. That's rough. You have nobody to fight him with. Because the only other person that's got slight borders on him is the Mandalorian with 3 million. That's real rough. That's a rough spot to be in for Greenland. I mean, the only thing that saves him is um, big is going over here. Oh, there's a full send. Nice. Yeah, that full send was always going to go against Greenland. But now he's over 60,000, so he moves faster. As long as Big over here is not paying attention, he could take down 653 and really become a big player here. These guys are pretty stalemated. I don't know what this guy's move is. I don't know why he's keeping Mandalorian alive other than to maybe not have borders on Big. It looks like he's boating down there now to try and make sure that he gets most of the land. Good, good boat there. Make prevent this guy from getting up. Let's uh get the music go back. Music, make me lose control. I got full sent five times. Yeah. I mean, Greenland just got full sent again. Go, Greenland! This is a real interesting board. Oh, well, this, these two are fighting. Greenland, you should send a boat, like, down to this little island. See if you can get away with it. See if you can get like a good little island or like that one. You should get that one. So you get better position to get some uh, land from pink because he's going down. Corey, can you help USSR get to top 30? No, I, I we don't do that. No. Wow, Mongol with a big attack. I'm surprised he's not fighting the crown at all and doing this end fighting because it's like what's your plan i mean if you two can take down greenland if you think you two can take down greenland faster than this guy can take down this guy sure that might be a good idea but you think you would want as many allies as possible to fight the crown cops one 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 two yeah that's completely different that's a clan of our size and that's a, a youtuber it's called a collaboration if you will Everybody got something out of that one. You know? Is this? Who is this? Is that? That's not Greenland. Oh, frick. He didn't get down there. Now, homie's just got to pick his target. 
You should just be attacking Mongol Empire. Mongol Empire is way over attacking. You should just level them right now. All right. This game's over. Mon Mongol and 20, instead of attacking the crown, which would have been the smart thing to do, go after the easier land. So the crown just wins. Let's get ready for contest. He just has to attack Mongol. Yeah, I know. He's won the game already. I just don't understand how people don't understand how, like, in those situations, you need to be mindset of, I'm going to fight the crown or I'm going to do a move that puts me in a better position to fight the crown. OG overtook us? Dude, by nothing. We will get this back by the end of the day. Can I speak Spanish? No. English only, brother. Use Google Translate. The moment we start allowing people to speak other languages for any reason, 30 minutes later, we're cursing in other languages and the mods can't moderate that because they don't know the, they don't know other languages. Well, Lou Hans, do you know any other languages? You're European. All the, I think all the other mods here are American. So we might like maybe know a little bit of Spanish, but most likely not. Want to try and make contact with 112? No, no, no. If we're going to do something with him again, we'll do it planned. Guys, we can't come off as too desperate, okay? Play it cool. Play it cool. Finish him up. Finish him up, Gangnam Style. Brother, give a warning shot to Dan the Man. What are we doing? Can somebody please thank you? Like, let Gangnam Style finish this guy up. Just one attack will literally slow this guy's attacks down. Okay, we don't have much here. We don't have much here. We, for whatever reason, stop going here, guys. This is useless land. We don't need this. It's much... If you guys were all in the north, we would have won the north by right now. I'm steamrolling. Stop going for garbage land. Like, yeah, I understand Arcadia is in fourth place. It's fine. But what is he going to do? He's blocked off by all of his teammates because all these guys are down here. Just go up here. Just go up here. I think we've proven time and time again the strategy works out. Yes, fam. Stop boating. Get into this guy. One attack. One attack a cycle. Whoever this is, your noble hero. You are literally protecting everybody. Good job. Good job, CR and Greenland and BB. See, this is a good starting location this is completely different from down here 
because this limit it limits how many people can attack you where this is like you can get boated in from everywhere like there's never been any strong up here the only real threats are here and here where this is like here 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 Get in there, get in there, get in there. Three man push, three man push. Go, go, go. You mean cycles? Yeah, whatever I said. Mako, good job holding the line. You're literally blocking this guy. Taking pressure off Undertaker. Like, if his attention's over here, it's fine. That works for us. Who is Undertaker, by the way? Ah, uh, don't full send, brother. Don't full send. He's Undertaker. That's the name of Discord. But is he in stream or no? was my question there we go now we got some big boys fighting down I saw this and I, I read it as checks notes <laughs> Which would be a funny name if it was checks with the notes. Dude, what are you doing, Cuck? Don't don't block off CR. Oh, you're lucky. He got above 60,000 right there. Don't ever block off the crown. There we go. We win. Slava, good to see you. Last year of school, about two months left. Congratulations! Ugh. Then you either go to college, which is, you know, more school, or then you go to the workforce, which is like the infinite school. And you go, no, 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 it's better because they get paid. It's like, it's, just wait till you realize what your work day is going to be like and how you're going to be doing this for the next like 60 years. <laughs> Like, ah, oh, dang, dude. Corgi, did I do a good job? It's fan, I actually didn't see you. Are we up here? Oh, yeah, you did a great job. You did a great job. The only thing is, like, island doesn't matter. Attack. Don't ever worry about these islands. The only time you worry about these islands is if you're trying to boat over to get somebody or if you're trying to block somebody from boating over here. Other than that, islands are meaningless. They're a waste of troops. Like, my return... I'm, I'm your investor and i'm not investing in you for you to get an island 
how dare you bring down my return on investment, my ROI. But you did great. FYI, Corgi Circus, Drag Undertaker's Dragonfire. Oh, okay, let's go. Anyways, great game, Undertaker. Hello, all mates. Hello, Corgi. What's up, Aziz? How are you, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. L. Dude, they accidentally flavored my coffee. I hate flavored coffee. In all honesty, I just like black coffee. But, like, if you try and order a black coffee from McDonald's, they get hecka confused. They'll ask you, like, six qualifying questions. Like, wait, wait, wait no sugar? Like, yeah, yeah, no sugar. Okay, milk? No milk. Skim milk? No skim milk. No milk. And it's just, it's just like a, it's like an interrogation every time. So it's just like, just give me the iced coffee the way you make it, I guess. I don't care. It's not that big of a deal. But if it's warm coffee, it's black coffee. I'll never drink warm coffee with any kind of milk or sugar. That just feels gross. That, ew. Taste of warm milk? Gross. What flavor is it? Dude, I, I think it's hazelnut or something. I don't like flavors at all. When we get back to summer, I'm going back to straight up black coffee. Hot black coffee. All right, what are we at? Yeah. A few more games, we'll get back up to first. Who orders coffee from McDonald's? In Europe, we have so many better cafes. Yeah, I mean, I'm jealous of Europeans because you can walk and get coffee. I Like, don't get me wrong. Chain restaurant coffee is always garbage. But as an American, here are my coffee shop locations within a five-mile radius. Starbucks, McDonald's, gas station. If I go, if I want to get, like, coffee from a, like, a... No, uh, like a regular cafe it's 10 miles away and honestly the coffee's pretty mid at best and they charge like three times as much like my friend kevin who you all know currently in nyu studying film uh do we have time for a contest ah we'll wait it um he he's also a barista he works at this chain in new york called blue bottle and it's like yeah if i lived in new york i would never go to a starbucks or anything I would just go to like a coffee shop that knows what they're doing. Why don't you make coffee in your own house? Brother, why deprive me of the simple joys in my life? I don't want to. I don't want to deal with the cleanup. I don't want to deal with cleaning. Is the short answer of that? I'm into F11. Or let's do a practice. Eswatini to Equatorial Guinea. Okay. This one's going to be a little bit tough. Mozambique. I think is the faster route. Yes. Does Mozambique touch the DRC? I think it, there's the... Let's... Let's give it a go. It doesn't. Okay. So we need um, Zimbabwe, right? Nope. Zambia. Nope. Okay. Messed up a little bit. Uh, this is Cameroon. Dang it. Um, it's like right here. Oh, it's the other Congo. Hold on. Republic of the Congo. Got us there. Well, what is this country? Gabon. Okay, I'd like to go from Argentina to Canada. Give me a Brazil. Give me a Colombia. Give me a Panama. Okay. Um, it's not Honduras. Is it Nicaragua? I think Costa Rica, actually. Is it Nicaragua, Costa Rica? I, 
think it's Nicaragua first. Frick, it is Costa Rica. And then, does that touch Mexico? No, we need Honduras. And then we need one more. Guatemala. And then USA. So, I got them all, but not in the right order. One day I'll remember this. It's Panama. It's Costa Rica. Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala. P. Okay, I'm trying to... P, C, N, H, G. I'm trying to think of like an... Um, what's it called? A thing? Oh, contest time? Yeah. What well, easier way to remember that? But that one's tough. That one's always going to be tough for me. Costa Rica, I can remember. Then it's Nicaragua. Honduras, Guatemala. Acronym. Thank you. Yeah, but it's not an acronym. It's like, um, it's like PEMDAS for math. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Which is just incredibly shocking every time someone comes up with a math equation on Twitter. And to go solve this. And then you realize half of the world apparently doesn't understand order of operations and gets the answer wrong. And then you're gaslit and be like, am I wrong? I'm like, no, I'm right. But you have like the top most upvoted answer with 5 million people upvoting the wrong answer. Be like, that's not right. <laughs> you do the parentheses first. I'll never forget. I'm friends with one of my college professors on Facebook because he was also my fraternity advisor and he did one of those and he got it wrong. And I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. This guy teaches business. Mr. D, what the frick? Is anyone still in college? Is, it, is there anyone in college? I want to know if rate my professor is still a thing. That was literally a godsend. The one year I didn't do rate my professor, and if you don't know what rate my professor is, I'm not sure if it's still around, but it like grades a professor based off of like, um, how nice of like their personality, uh, how hard of like test giver they are, how hard is their homework and stuff. And the one year I didn't do it, I got stuck with this new professor because he didn't have a rating and I trusted it. I was like, ah, he'll probably be fine. And this professor, to give you an example of how ridiculous he was, he was like, he had just written a book and he was so inspired, so on fire. He was like, I'm going to get everyone to write a book. That was his mentality. This is English 101, by the way. And he would give out ridiculous assignments. Like my, one of my assignments was write a 20 page paper and then a 20 point PowerPoint presentation. Insane project, insane project. You would never do this in the actual workforce. If you ever needed to do a presentation that long and write a paper that long, first off, nobody's going to read it. Second off, if you actually had to, you would have an entire team of people working on it. Here, I'm going to try to work backwards. I have literally nobody to help me. I'll wait for Knox to win. I'm going to slow him down. But anyways, crazy paper. You know what the same assignment was in a different class? Write a blog post of at least two paragraphs. Frick, dude. My teacher got mad at me for punching my bully. And he got, why is that? Brother. Come on, be mature. You you lost the you lost the psychological warfare if you resort to violence. Good luck, Knox. You got you got plenty. You got plenty of land. Good job, everybody over here. This is fantastic. Punching your bully in high school is like your, your brain's still learning how to process things. 
if you resort to violence in high school your brain's gonna be like that's how we solve things and then you're gonna get like drunk one night and get in a fight and then you're gonna get arrested and then you're gonna have um a criminal history that's just gonna screw you over for the rest of your life don't ever learn to fight you never need it you'll never need to learn how to fight but i want to crazy behavior crazy behavior stop being insecure about yourself you're better than that let me tell you what happens in college if you get in a fight here's what's going to happen no matter what happens everyone is going to treat you like a cancer for the rest of the time they know you because they're going to be like that guy will get in a fight that guy got in a fight he could get in a fight again and they're going to treat you like you are poisonous and they're going to avoid you Oh, you were talking to a girl that night? You, Your chances with her are gone. Win or lose, gone. I'm still alive somehow. Let's go. Join the military if you want to learn how to fight? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Or you could just take it like a judo class, one or the other. <laughs> What if he wants to be a boxer? Then box in the ring. Although, honestly, I don't know the economic benefits of becoming a boxer. Think of all that CTE you're going to get. Dude, turns out being punched in the head a lot has some negative effects on your mental welfare. Crazy how nature be doing that sometimes. How come professional wrestling is different from wrestling seen in the Olympics? Showmanship. It's fake. And I say fake because it's like they're still doing at in crazy levels of athletics in professional wrestling. But it's fake because it's like scripted. But it's still at the same time, like though you are still watching two athletes at work. I want to be a football soccer player, then you are never going to need to learn how to fight. You know, the, the, the only thing you're going to need to learn how to do is a, is a solid form tackle. That will probably solve 90% of the situations you get into if you ever need to fight. You just tackle them, hold them down, they'll calm down, or the police will come, one or the other, you're done. And if you're fighting someone who knows how to counter a form tackle, well, you were going to lose that fight to begin with. You shouldn't have fought that man. You need to train core strength too? Yeah. I mean, the best thing you can do for yourself, if you ever, like, instead of fighting, go to the gym and get big. The physical intimidation of someone who works out even a little bit is going to be enough to deter most fights. Or, you know, just be tall. That helps out a lot too. <laughs> Or did you ever play Mountain Bla Blade Bannerlord? Yes, I have. I played the poop out of that game, bro. Combat system takes a little bit to get used to. But it's a fun game. I just wish it, wish it had a little bit more depth. You should do a series on it? Nah. Talk about a game that would like... Basically, if I was to do a series on Mountain Blade, I would have to stop streaming, stop all videos to make one Manor Lord video a week. And like, could it do well? Yeah. But like, what if it doesn't? Not to mention, I hate editing, so I probably wouldn't enjoy that process and would get burnt out pretty quickly. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to attack there. Whatever.
Hate to be this guy, but you're in a bad spot. Join me, brother. I think France may be AFK. There we go. Let's go. I know you hate editing because you didn't hesitate to use a new thumbnail for the stream. Yeah. I mean, YouTube for having streams is re to, to make it use a thumbnail is really dumb. They should just have a Twitch where it's just a screen capture like everything else. It is mind boggling to me that YouTube doesn't just copy what Twitch is doing. It doesn't seem like it's very hard UI code. To just be able to because it's like the discoverability on YouTube from streaming is gar garbaggio. And YouTube seems to like, yeah, dude, we're going to pay all these like high end streamers to come to the platform, but we're, then we're not going to make it better. <laughs> like we're going to spend all of our money bringing over like six guys and girls, but then we're not going to improve our UI at all. Like if they just copied what Twitch is doing with like channel points and discoverability and, and categories. Oh my God. I can't believe they don't have categories. That's insane. YouTube would crush. Granted, the audiences on Twitch and YouTube are drastically different. Like, in an average YouTube stream, I'll get like a thousand some people who watched it, but the average view time is like six to 10 minutes. Like people just pop in for a couple of games and leave. Whereas like Twitch, they that is their day. They're sitting down, they're watching the whole stream. GG's. Do you think we can speed run this? No, probably not. Well, let's just do a practice. East Timor to Iran. This one's actually probably pretty easy. Indonesia. I actually had a friend who was in... Um, not Greenpeace. What's that called? It's like Greenpeace, but like you're a college educated person, you go to like a country. Do you know what I'm talking about? Malaysia. Peace Corps. He was in the Peace Corps. And he was in the Peace Corps during the pandemic when the pandemic started. And here's something crazy. Like um the the population isn't that educated, and they were worried for his welfare. Because like he, this is like they, they did not want him to tell anyone he was leaving. Because they were worried the local population might misinterpret his actions. To being um, like he might be like have brought COVID to them. So he had to leave in the middle of the night without telling a single person and fly away. And they did that for a lot of countries. India, Pakistan. Like, you couldn't even tell his host family. Like, yeah, some people, most people probably would have understood, but if, like, one person didn't, and, like, he could have been killed. Crazy. I always wish I could have done the Peace Corps. It's crazy what you talk yourself out of for the dumbest reasons. Like, the reason I didn't do the Peace Corps is because I had a dog and I didn't want to leave him. I didn't go teach abroad in like Japan or South Korea for the same reason. My second uncle actually lives in Borneo. Cool. Isfan, I don't know what you're typing. Okay, that's really, really weird. No, it's, I mean, it's just like you're working with a population who like might misinterpret like 
like oh like because at the time it's like covid was a white man thing it's just like ah it's just like from china and then like europe and then the united states like it's not here but maybe he brought it all right let's do contest Yeah, we're tied. Well, let's take it back. You got first again? Uh, I think we will have to do this game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is a both sides thing. They'll have names like this. We won't ever have a name like that in our clan. Crazy. Bye, loser. Yeah, get that Shrek down. Now you should just work backwards. I'll keep this guy off your back and we're good. I'm down, CR. I'll get this guy. If he attacks anybody. But once we get this guy down, then we can all four of us go into him. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice. Once a cycle attacks. Don't over attack because we need these troops to donate forward. All right. If you are free and getting close to your red interest, Pharaoh is a great target to donate to. I was crying and OG got donated like a million. Yeah, that's their only strategy. I mean, it's fine. It's most clan strategies. What's to be expected at this point? I think Corgi was said something about it. About what? Chizy. Who 
did that? Whoever banned dashing, thank you. Guys, don't lie about people dying. That's freaking messed up. Child behavior. I knew that guy was already kind of, he was already on thin ice because he's like, I'm the bad name of Bellevue. And I, and he's just like, all right, man. Like, we gave you plenty of chances. Just be chill. Just be chill, bro. Oh, this is the guy from the free for all, the pink player in North, North America. Hey, Texas time. You subscribed again. Thank you for unsubscribing and resubscribing. <laughs> How do we miss that? You didn't. I just timed him out. It was just like, come back with a better attitude. And you didn't. There's two types of response to getting timed out. You come back with a better attitude or you double down immediately. You double down. Hey, Bells, good to see you as always. Damn. See, this was a smart full send by Aziz. He full sent because he knew Pharaoh was behind him and he, and he was blocking Pharaoh's access. So he just full sent because he knew the bot was going to attack and then give Pharaoh access. Although, poor Mr. Snister. I think we all learned a lesson about full donating. Gotta go by. Adios, Dennis. Kissy face. Did. Shishisha. GG, boys. There we go. Nice. Love to see that. We back number one. Let's go. Took one hour and 49 minutes to move up at this entire point. What do you have to say to people who spawn right next to you? Don't. You're not doing anything. There's two types of people who spawn next to me. One is people trying to... I get attention to those. I say, you know, get attention the right way. Learn how to play the game and get better at it. You're not getting better if you're spawning next to me. Two is the people who are trying to like troll or like make me lose. In which case it's like, brother, you got to understand the clan is much bigger than myself. I go in the back so that you guys can be the champions. I it, I am what? The champion once every like six streams and it's usually by accident. Let's do um, Europe. Random spawns are a third rare case, but they don't happen often. Yeah, because I'm, I'm usually in the back lines with a lot of people. So if the computer spawns somebody back there, it's generally because there's not enough people back there, in which case I don't mind. And nine times out of 10, if I know I'm going to get stream snapper, I'll go somewhere like here. And if it's somebody on the... Um, on our team, I'll just leave. But like, great. You're back there. Like that. It's like, congratulations. Now you're in the corner. Hope you have a great day. Now you don't get to play. You don't get to get better. And you get put in, a, in the corner as a timeout. You don't get any attention. I probably will never see your name again because you're in the corner. Then there are people who impersonate mods and good players. Yeah, honestly, you are handicapping yourself if you're doing that. You're not getting any better. You are, and you're making the team worse. 
because it makes it harder to know who to donate to. And you think, oh, I get free donations. It's like, yeah, but you don't know how to get strong on your own. It's kind of like um, when a baby birds hatching from an egg, you can't help them out of the egg because then they'll be weak forever. It's the same thing. They never got that strength they would have gotten by breaking out of the egg on their own. Good job, everybody. Well done over here. Way to collapse early and often. I wasn't trying to be next to you. Azula was. Now he's stuck in the corner. Congratulations. Best way to get good is being VC a lot. Yeah. It's like you have access to the best players in territorial right now who are willing to teach you right now. Like, take advantage of that. Like Aziz constantly leads voice chats. He is the best teams player in the world at this game. Barrow does too. He's probably like second or third. Lux is also there. I mean, there's so Lux, Banana, uh, Luhansk, Zero. Like there's so many DJ. There's so many amazing like top 10 teams players right now in the world in this clan that play off stream is crazy. If you want to get better at the game, that's the best way. And if you want to take a little bit more passive role, you can watch me. I would put myself probably in the top 10 as well. Learn how to play without donations and then come into streams and you'll get donos. Yeah, exactly. When you learn how to play without, it's kind of like learning how to bowl without the rails. You'll become a better bowler if you if you learn to play without the rails first. Good job, Abba. What is the best spawn in the world for team games? You got to go after land mass. And that goes for every kind of game. You go after what gives you the best opportunity to get land. And you have to understand that like people will collapse in the middle. So let's take like Europe. This is really strong. This is really strong. This is incredible. This area specifically, you are going to probably lose because you'll be collapsed by a big player over here and here. Sometimes a Balkans player can get away. Honestly, I don't think the Balkans is a good spot. It's a good spot if you're already a high level player. But this is really good. This is really good. This can also be really good. Scandinavia. Brother, can we finish up this guy? There we go. GG. No, oh, it's a free for all contest. Uh, let's go. Let's go Middle East. Let's get some Middle East action.
Now, if you're in this situation where someone's attacking you early, just ignore it. You'll all pace them. And then they'll panic and be like, oh, I need to grow big because this guy's growing big. And then they'll never be able to recover. Look, he's like, oh, can we be friends? Because I'm I'm not getting as big as you. I can't get as much. Well, I can't get the land. And he's quietly outgrown. Mental warfare, game's lost. Good job. I give the land to Cornish. I get another friend up here. No, no, no Cornish, you grab the land. That's you, brother. Join me, brother. You got nothing else to do. Olsen, boys, grab it. There we go. I think this is fire burns. We get up to red interest, we donate. What are we on the leaderboard? We're first. Yeah, we took first back. Nice. Yeah. Good job, boys. I changed my name. Can you find me? I already did. You're right there. Took me two seconds. Acting like I don't know who my subscribers are, brother. What do you think? I'm new here? You think this is not like an iron box? Now, granted, if I ever meet anybody in person, name, foom, foom, but like here, iron box. Nope, that's not me. You don't gotta get mad because I guess it so quickly. We have time. Let's do Australia. Best map in your opinion? I like cliffs. I just thank you for subscribing. I like cliffs. I like the non-geographical maps because they change all the time. So the meta is not the exact same. Like where's the best starting location on cliffs is dependent on a number of factors. Where's the best starting location in Australia? Here and here generally. I mean, yeah, some things change based off where players go, but generally here and here. I should add terrain to the geographical maps. Yeah, that'd be fun. It's crazy he doesn't because like they're in the game already. It's like no extra coding really. Hey, true. Thank you for subscribing.
Torgi better TT got shut down. Is your name would if you were a Pokemon, would you be Slowpoke? <laughs> that happened like a week ago, brother. Old news. Old news. In fact, you've been in stream since then, so you knew about that. Road the Toad. What a name. Denver, don't full send. Don't full send or full donate. Always a bad move. Because now look what happens. Instead of Corfi having to fight down you, he just goes through you for free, gets access to all these bots. Now we have to spend a lot of time recapturing land that we already had and fighting a stronger crown. Like you're not in trouble, but just kind of understand that the you there's repercussions for doing that. Nobody ever needs your troops that bad that a full donation is warranted. And if they do, it's fine. We have we have strength in numbers. Like, if we can fail on this side and win on this side and still win the game. Boys, if you are bordering the crown and not attacking him right now, you need to be doing that. So, uh, 479, Mako, H Hungary's doing it, Mama's doing it. Like, if everybody knocks this guy right now, he goes down, like, in 10 seconds. I would love a Greenland map. Greenland would literally just be island, but slightly different. It'd be a pretty boring map. I think Canada would be a fun one. Like just Canada. I think that'd be pretty interesting. I think obviously micro or Malay Asia would be interesting. I've spoken about that one pretty often. But I'm tired of people coming in and be like, dude, this island would be sick and be like, bro, island's already in the map. You're just asking for an island slightly different. <laughs> Give me a slightly different island, bro. Like Australia is just island. Let's do South America. I think zoomed in Great Lakes would be fun. Yeah, because it adds something to the game. It adds if a if a map is not have like boating directly be influential, I don't think it's interesting. They should add, add a Mars map. Yes, give me a perfect circle. This is not good enough. <laughs> Galaxy map. Yes, give me multiple circles. Give it to me. Or a map where there's no water or terrain, so basically black arena. Give me just a box. Stop with fun shapes. Give me give me regular shapes. Give me shapes I learned in geography class. Where's the rectangle? <laughs>
we need some updates that include not just new maps yeah a new game mode would be fun i think my king of the hill would be the best whereas it's like there's a point on the map randomly chosen and at the end of a certain time limit whoever controls it wins i think that would go hard I just saw a cursed Australia map with Mediterranean within Australia. Oh my God. Dude, I'm in this um, Discord chat for like Warhammer. And I'm in it just because I want to like because people share like files that you can 3d print and like they show off their paint jobs and stuff and there's this one mod who thinks people are there for trivia and it's just like brother nobody's there for that like let's calm down okay nobody's here for trivia like don't don't make it awkward by trying to make it something that's not people are here for paint and uh illegal 3d models of whatever <laughs> characters Uh, boys, why did you all oh, donate? That's bad. It's okay. We win the North. We'll eventually get it. Keeping them weak for you, Dazu. Yeah, 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 you just go. You roll through, brother. Good job, boys. How long do you plan to stream for? Like three ish. 3 p.m. So about another two and a half hours or so. GG's. Are Australians just British Texans? Yes. Yeah, exactly. 100%. You nailed it. Couldn't, couldn't have been more accurate. Oh my God, that's a lot of time. Yeah, you don't have to be here for it. You don't have to be here for the entire time. All right, I'm going to hit this this contest and I'm going to go to the bathroom. Devastator and chair will keep you company. Devastator. Okay, go. Baby. Everybody enjoy chair and devastator stream. Stop saying chair stream. Please include devastator, okay? It's hurting his feelings.
Let's go block this guy. Now we just need to block Luna, and we're good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, good job. Good job. Get back over there. Great job. Great job, balls. Dude, me and this guy are growing like the exact same rate. That is crazy. Uh, dogs there we go crazy this guy's donating instead of finishing up this guy first brother get in here Oh, Texas, donate forward. Donate forward. Don't donate to me. Let's go. Psychological warfare with one. Okay. Now we donate forward. Like the cut of your jib? One eight hundred, you suck. <laughs> you could tell this man is uh, at least over twenty because he knows about one eight hundred numbers. Do I don't think Gen Alpha knows about the secret code? They'll never know about the 1-800 collect and having to go 1-800 and then spell out collect on the, on the payphone. They'll never know about this. It's a sacred text. I need to you uh boys why are we not collapsing on this guy mandalorian fire burns arctic collapse on this guy there's four of you old man old man's the only one doing it why is old man being left alone no fight the big guy fight the big guy with all your friends the only one who maybe shouldn't is this guy because he's got to worry about down here Two EM threats. Thank you for subscribing. Kind of a crazy name, to be honest with you. Throwing it out there. Let's go. my name yeah fire burns ants that's you
Corgi, what are you going to do when you run out of nations to play? I'm going to be honest. By the time I run out of nations to play, I think the audience is going to get tired of watching the game. So I'll probably just move on to another game. You're talking about 300 episodes or something. I think that's, I think the popularity will die. All right, let's do Europe. 200 episodes of domination. Isn't there like 200 and like closer to 300 nations? I've never counted. Isn't it like 200? Even so, 200 episodes of something, I think is, I think we've covered it. I don't even know if we'll get to 200 before the interest dies. There are 176 nations. Okay, we're going to Google this. Hundred ninety five. Hundred ninety three countries that are a member of the United Nations and two countries that are non member observer states, the Holy See and the state of Palestine. Which is fair. I only want to recognize nations that are recognized by the United Nations because I feel like when you go beyond that. You delve into a lot of drama. Could you imagine being the diplomat to the United Nations as the Vatican City? <laughs> like, what are you going to do, bro? What's your, what, what, you just there to hang out? That's pretty cool. Like, what are the qualifications for that? Do you think it's just like, hey guys, the Pope says like invading that country is bad. Like, okay. Thanks, Pope. <laughs> now I just wedge. I just wedge. I slowed down the entirety of the red team. Not a single person on our team went here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Amalo. Amalo. Not a single player on our team went to Africa. Like the strongest locations here and here. And not a single person went here. Amalo. Don't know. Don't donate to me. I'm wedge. Other people will win the game. I slow people down. No, attacking these bots right now is apps would be an absolute disaster. I don't want to have more enemies than I can fight. I just slow play the, the strongest guy around me. Where's the crowd? Guys, donate to wizard or wizards having to fight alone. Don't donate to me. My mission's a my mission I can do on my own. Hey, Rob Drake, thank you for the five dollars, five pounds, five pounds. Yeah, five pounds. Thanks, Drake. Appreciate you.
Good job, boys. GG, GG. Perfect time for a contest. Let's go. Did I do a good job? Honestly, I didn't watch a single other player besides myself in that one. Couldn't tell you. Hearts of Iron 4? I'm learning it. I'm learning it on my own. I don't mean to get political, but do you think there's a nation the greatest in the world? No. And you being from Texas, I can almost guarantee you you're going to think the United States. But then you got to realize that like our healthcare rating is below Ecuador. So, that's like, I think we're like the 27th, 28th. So take that into account. Always blows my mind. People be like, dude, we have the best healthcare. It's like, no, 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 no. You have the cheapest healthcare that your, your uh, employer would provide to think that would retain you as, as an employee. You don't even get to choose. You don't even get to choose your health care. Your employer chooses it for you. You get to choose three plans within your employer's chosen plan. It's called Switzerland's. Switzerland's cost of living is incredibly high. If you want to talk about beautiful, yeah, I think Switzerland's in, definitely in the race for one of the most beautiful countries. Somaliland is one of those countries playable in Dummy Nation, which makes it 200 instead of 195, 197. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know what Dummy Nation do does to say what is a country and what's not. I wouldn't be surprised. Italy has pizza. Yeah. Look up the history of pizza and realized it wasn't very popular in Italy until it was popular in the United States. Boom. You're welcome, world. Here's the little thing. If you ever want to open a restaurant, first off, don't. Second off, if you're going to open a restaurant, make it an Italian restaurant because you deal with the least perishables, which means you you don't have to spend as much money on, on food. Not to mention, like, pasta's cheap, at, cheap AF. When I think of Italy, I think of the Romans. Yeah, wasn't there something that's just like the average male thinks of the Roman Empire like once a week? And it's like, that's crazy. I literally never think of the Roman Empire. Am I the outlier here? Do you guys all think about the Roman Empire at least once a week? Y'all do be obsessed with them Romans? Daily, you crazy? You think of the Roman Empire on the daily basis. <laughs> I think you're the crazy one, bro. <laughs> Although it is true. Once you hit 30 as a man, you become a lot more interested in history for whatever reason that happens to you. Probably a World War II era. Currently, I, I'm, I'm, watch, I'm obsessed with this one YouTube channel called Real Life Lure. It's so good. He does deep dives into like countries and politics. Like I just learned about the the political situation between Ethiopia and, and Atreya. I was like, oh, that's that's crazy. I never knew that. Like there might be a war between Ethiopia and Atreya within the next year. Because Ethiopia is the largest um nation population wise that is landlocked and it needs a port and atreya used to be part of the ethiopia and it's just like a lot of people probably wouldn't care if e e atreya went down because atreya is kind of like a modern day slave army dictatorship like not a lot of people really like atreya and ethiopia is like hey we about five miles away from having a port and that port was just built up by the uae maybe we kind of want that <laughs> ethiopia wants its coastline back yeah it needs a port it spends like a billion dollars a year on port fees for djibouti
a billion dollars a year is kind of a hefty chunk of um your gdp going out the window where if you just took over like five miles of coastline you get that for free It's why Ethiopia is also considering being the first to recognize Somalia land. Yeah, because they need another port. They need a cheaper port. I used to like real life lore. Then they effed up the California high speed rail video. I haven't seen that one. That is crazy. If you want to watch corruption in real time, just look up anything involving the California high speed rail and how it was like a great design that everybody was for. And it was ruined by corruption and special interests. Crazy. Real life lore is always link a topic back to Ukraine for some reason. I mean, they always include it. Like they included it in the Ethiopian war, but they did it because it's like, hey, the world's really distracted with Ukraine and Russia and Gaza or Palestine and Israel. I don't think it's just like it's kind of good timing because nobody would really care about an Africa war right now. Luckily, they're beginning to get back on track with the project. I don't think it will ever happen. I think there's too many hands in that pot. Like you look at the original pathing of the of the line and then how they're like adding billions and billions and billions of dollars because this congressman wanted it to go through his town. This state congressman wanted to go through his town. It's just like, dude, just go from San Francisco to, Lo uh, to Los Angeles. We have eminent domain. Use that eminent domain. In general, Western wars, the Western world seems to not care about Africa wars. Yeah, there's like seven African civil wars going on right now that nobody cares about. Because there's no oil. There's no, there's no interest. Like the United States is not here to be the police of the world. We're here to like better our interests. And you, you would love for us to be like the moral high ground and be like, no, 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 we'll take the UN said we that's a war crime. So we'll take care of it. No, nobody cares. Look at Myanmar. Myanmar is in the middle of a genocide. Nobody cares. Arrested Western journalists. I think they got life sentences for documenting the genocide. Nobody cares. You look at what's going on in poor Haiti. Gangs literally run the government. There's nobody in the government left. Wait, it is? Yeah. Literally, there's a there's a gang leader called Barbecue who basically runs the country. There was an intervention planned that was going to be Kenyan soldiers funded by the United States. But then, like... um. Kenya got kind of wrapped up in like, is this legal for us to go in? Because like, there's nobody there to approve us to go in. Is that an invasion? And they just kind of were like, ah, and they kind of backed away from it. Did you see that YouTuber got caught, uh, got um, kidnapped in Haiti? Yeah, one idiot. One idiot, dude. You go to the most, probably the most unstable place in the world. And you're and you are rich to their standards and you like did not anticipate being kidnapped what an idiot like uh, don't get me wrong i wish the best for him i hope he comes back home alive but that was the dumbest move that was that was like that's literally a 20 year old thinking they're invincible Behind closed doors, they ask Canada to lead the mission, but our military is in proper state for that. No, it's just like America's not looking to like we just got out of a 20 year occupation of states like 
there is no interest in us going into getting that involved in that because what happened there in those 20 years we got surpassed by china in a number of key technologies we need to be investing in that that's more aligned with the u.s interest than policing haiti unfortunately like don't get me wrong i would love us to be able to help out the haitians What is the most unsafe country in the world, Somalia or Afghanistan? I would think Afghanistan is probably safer than Somalia or Haiti. Apparently, Illinois might get a flag redesign in the recent years. Let's look up at the Illinois flag. I bet it's garbage. This is your flag? Brother, what did you just see Mexico's flag and thought, hey, let's copy that, but don't make it obvious. <laughs> this is a garbage flag. You should redesign this. Minnesota's, I think it was Minnesota just got the new flag. Theirs is pretty sick. And Minnesota state flag. Yeah, that's sick. That's a sick flag. That looks great. Illinois, get your act together. Your, your state flag's garbage. Tell me the difference between Montana and New York state flag. Both are garbage, actually. Thank you for asking. Massachusetts is way better. No. Have you seen Massachusetts state flag, brother? This is a garbage flag. This is a garbage flag. The Buffalo Bills flag is pretty sick. Although it really has nothing to do with like New York because there's no buffaloes there. But not this one, but it's like um, here. Like kind of that, but without all of the stuff, go all the wording. That's kind of a sick flag. That would go great for Montana. All right, let's do Africa. Intro Belgium flag. Okay, here's the thing. All European flags, kind of garbage here. You all copied each other's homework. Y'all did simple designs. Boring. Maryland flag sick. Maryland's flag is like they had four people designing a flag and they couldn't agree on which one. So they're like, let's just do them all. That's Maryland's flag. I'm going to be honest, Colorado and uh, New Mexico probably have the best flags. New Mexico is definitely wins, though. Here's a crazy fun fact. Did you know New Mexico is the only state in the union that has USA on their license plates? Because so many people didn't know, don't know that New Mexico is part of the United States. That they're just like, we have to deal with this problem. And you may be thinking, who wouldn't know that? Well, they got to put, they got to put do not ingest on shampoos. So, you know, for those people. Alaska flag still best. Alaska flag is pretty cool. If you want a whole breakdown of flags, CG, CGP Gray did a great video on American flags. The only thing I will disagree with him on is he gave Colorado a lower rating. And I was like, Colorado is actually kind of a sick flag. Let this guy clear out all my bots. Thank you. So nice of you.
GG. All right, contest time. Bias alert? I mean, you could say bias alert, but at the same time, I'm not standing up for the Florida flag. I'm from Florida. I'm like, yeah, I grew up in Colorado. I do have a bias towards Colorado, don't get me wrong. But I think objectively, if I'm objectively looking at flags of all the United States, I'm putting Colorado up high. Why do we fall from 15 points to 14.3? Not enough. I mean, people don't play off stream. That's the reason. And it's just like, if you want to get better at the game, you probably should, you know, be playing in voice chat outside of stream. It's fine. People lose interest. I don't, it's just not, you don't have a responsibility to buff up the flag or the clan and um, play when you don't feel like it. But if it like matters to you that we're, we're, we drop down to second place instead of first, then, you know, take responsibility for that. Arizona's flag. Arizona's got an okay flag. I mean, it's better than the, it's definitely better than average. To be honest, the majority of the time when we are playing is when Aziz is in voice chat. Yeah, I mean, Dragonfire, you could lead one. You just join voice chat. You'd be surprised how many people join in. Like, let's get real. Aziz wasn't anointed like, oh, dude, this is the clan grind leader. He wasn't anointed that. He just started doing it. Corgi, is it true anyone outside Massachusetts says hunch with an S? No. No. You should travel more. <laughs> I think a good a good thing for you to be just travel. Wait till you start learning how people from Oklahoma pronounce the word bag. <laughs> that, one, that one will throw you for a loop. Let's go. Gives us all the land. More than happy with that. You want to full send too? You should full send me too. Dude, you could totally get rid of me off the map. You should do it. Keep full sending. Let's go. You did a good job. Now collapse on them, boys. There's six of you. Why is no one attacking? One, two, three, four, five. I declare a thumb war. Get them down. Good job, boys. Hey, Corgi. Hey, GG. How are you? GG Gaming. Where's Dax? Okay. Where's... Wait, is that Dax? Yeah, that's Dax. And then Sutro? Right there. Pseudo troll. Oh, yeah. Start fighting crap. Can we start donating pseudo troll? Can you start fighting lazy? I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job.
Corgi, if Goofy and Ma Mickey Mouse were running for president, which one would you choose? I'm a Goofy guy. I'm not gonna lie. Goofy's got a dog, bro. Also, if you ever seen the movie about Goofy and his kid going off to college, pretty good. Good job, Sewer Troll. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Hmm, this is becoming a problem. Can Roadrunner get some donations? Over in kind of northern Turkey, Georgia area? Roadrunner, you're at max cap. I think you're free to attack, brother. There you go. Yeah, he full sent back. Let's go. The Goofy movie's fire. Yeah, it's better than anything Mickey Mouse has been in. Are you gonna put Fantasia above the Goofy the Goofy movie, brother? Let's get real. Goofy's a star. He's got star power. <laughs> GG's boys. Or do you get free memberships? No. I mean, others do. Actually, I have 10 free that I can gift. A month. Let's go. By the way, since Skillwin was the lone one out voting for Mickey, he's banned. True, true. This is a pro goofy channel. Thought you could do 10 a month? I can. I can. Corgi, how do you become a moderator? It's on a need basis, and we just don't need anybody. Rob Drake, thank you for the one gifted. <laughs> Junkie, uh, looks like you are the lucky recipient. Uh, make sure to say thank you, Drake, for that membership. Still a Tottenham fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Spurs. Go Spurs. Yeah, honestly, unless Shy unless Shizy or Zero Winter left, I probably wouldn't need another mod. Hey, Maverick renewed his membership for eight months. Go Spurs. Go Spurs. Yeah! Go Spurs. Go Spurs. Go. Anyways, let's do Scandinavia. Corgi, where are you from? Reno, Nevada, brother. Another year of no trophies. Enjoy. Hey, we got a lot of others playing the sandbox too, okay? We can't be building the... We can't be taking all the sand to build our sand castle all the time. Comes and goes. Maverick with the five gifted memberships. <laughs> Let's go. Make sure if you were just gifted a membership by Maverick, you say thank you, Maverick. Spurs should win a trophy before Harry Kane at this rate. I don't know who that man is, but yes, we will. Ashy with the one gifted. They're rolling in. Let's go. I don't like this Spurs talk. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Do you have, do you have a vested entrance, in, interest in British football, brother? Or you think we're talking about the San Antonio Spurs? The NBA basketball team. Because we're not. The Spurs can go spur themselves, all right? We're talking about the Tottenham Spurs. Go Spurs. Well, 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 if it isn't my arch nemesis, Mr. Farewell, put on the wrong team. 
I like Arsenal. Of course you would. You're that's base. That's the most basic answer you could give. I like Arsenal. I like Man City. It's like you just chose someone who's already good, and you said I'm gonna root for them. Shame. Shame on this man. Shame on you, bandwagoner. Wait, can I choose my successor when I retire? No. When you retire, you'll be dead to me. Your input will no longer be valid. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Spurs haven't won in 20 years. Hey, when was the last time the Buffalo Bills won the Super Bowl? I, I just can't remember off the top of my head. When did that happen? Oh, gosh. Must have been so... Wait. We do the math. Oh, wait. The Bills have never won the Super Bowl. No way. Oh, dude. That's so embarrassing. Didn't they win last year? No, <laughs> they did not. I did not. Not nice. Hey, you brought it upon, upon yourself by bringing up how long it's been since Tottenham's won. And you may, uh, you may be thinking, oh, dude, how can I get him back? Oh, when was the last time the Bronco? Oh, the Broncos won Super Bowl 50, didn't they? Rick. They had Peyton Manning, the GOAT, bro. Oh, Rick. Don't remind me of the 90s when you went to four consecutive Super Bowls but lost every single one of them? That's pretty cool, right? Or was it three consecutive and then one extra? I'm not sure if all four were consecutive. Still. Jim Kelly couldn't get it done, bro. Couldn't get it done. The Packers are the closest thing you get to a European style sports club. I mean, yeah, some of them, because like a lot of European sports clubs are owned by like the locals, where like is which is the same as the Packers. The Packers are owned by like the locals. Go pack go, yeah. The Packers deserve to be unsuccessful for a few years. They've been good for too long. My favorite thing is watching the the Patriots actually act absolutely scramble their brains because for the first time in like 20 years they they're not good and they they're not one player away from being good and they fired like the best coach they were ever gonna get what is cricket uh, I just think of it as Indian baseball like someone Someone got confused of how baseball works and they just started creating their own rules and thus cricket was born. Why Indian? I don't know. Mainly because every single time I see a cricket highlight, it's always from like an Indian um, team. I know the rest of the world plays um a lot of places in the world play cricket but whenever i see a highlight it's always from india so in my mind it's like an indian game i, I feel like it started elsewhere though i could be wrong India loves cricket. Yeah, India really loves cricket. Isn't it like that? They're kind of like their national sport. Cricket was great in England. Yeah, but like a lot of things that England created, the world improved upon it. And England's garbage at it now. Rugby, cricket. I'm trying to think. 
Has England created anything else? Native Americans? No, Native Americans invented lacrosse. Which I think they're actually going to be able to compete under their own flag in the Olympics, which they should be because, you know, they created it. Uh, let's do this free-for-all contest. Hockey is the national sport of India. That's a hard lie, brother. Hard lie. Soccer, yeah. England sucks at soccer. Hockey's like the national sport of Canada. I demand you to do an FFA. Do you not see what we're clicked on right now, brother? USA hasn't won a free FFA, uh, a FIFA World Cup ever. Yeah, dude, but um, we're pretty good at basketball. And just, you know, the Olympics in general. Does that help? Which is kind of crazy because like, you know, in any other place in the world, if you win a gold medal, you are like a celebrity in your country. We're like to become a celebrity from the Olympics in the United States, you have to win like six. <laughs> Like Simone Biles, I forgot, Lindsay something for skiing. Michael Phelps. Like you gotta you gotta absolutely shatter the field. Oh, no way. Friggin' jerks. Let's go. There's no way you're cheating in a free-for-all. That's hot garbage. Okay, there we go. That's hot garbage. I know this isn't the real issue, but I'm going to be honest. If you ever reveal who you are, you're getting banned. Cheating in this clan is absolute horse garbage. Do I take Ashu's name? Because they're, you honestly, this is someone who wants attention. They know they're cheating. They want to deflect blame and put it on a mod. You are a garbage person. I hope you leave this community and never come back. How do you cheat in this game? You play on two accounts at the same time. I charge all corgis in this game. You don't have to do it right now. But do not help these people. Do not let them win. This person. Do not help a cheater win the game. Especially one that's so disrespectful to put our clan tag on his cheating account. Not gonna lie, the Celtics are the best basketball team. Definitely not based because I'm from biased because I'm from Massachusetts. You are silly. You are so silly. You guys had like the dream team and couldn't make it work. I think they won one.
Good news, Cheer didn't win. Yeah. I hope they leave and never come back. Go join OG. Where are you? That's a good position. But two, uh, he's going to get stalemated over here. It's going to be real rough. Roadrunner's in a good position. Potentially in a good position. This one's very split right now, though. Greenland and USSR can both be in good positions. So is uh, Bitfrost. Although that full send's going to hurt. Hey, G and G, thanks for becoming a member. Do zombies, please? Okay, we'll do one for you. Oh, dude, if you weren't there for domination yesterday, somebody had a crazy take. They're like, who gifted me a membership when my country has tuberculosis? <laughs> and I was just like, Brother, like you can't be blaming your work, your common working man for a systematic injustice. That's crazy to equivalent the two as being related. Like you, you're, you're literally like blaming your fellow factory man on the line with you for the amount of hours you're working instead of the boss. How do you become a member? There's a join button at the bottom of the stream. You can do that, or you could uh, put, hedge your bets on getting gifted. But if you get gifted one, it's only good for a month. Not begging, but so far I've been very unlucky. You have bills. Some people just get unlucky. Like there's been times where we've had 60 people in chat and there were a hundred gifted and people in chat didn't get one. <laughs> like that's unlucky. Do mods get an advantage? No, I, I think it priority. It is technically random, but I think it does prioritize people who are active in the chat. Maybe they disabled it. Yeah, if you're not in America, you have to make sure that you have it enabled. Some countries don't have it enabled by default for some of their laws for whatever reason. I got a member on a channel with 1.8 million subs. Yeah, I got gifted a channel membership. Um, And I felt bad because it's like, yeah, I watch this person like once a month. I don't feel like I'm worthy of having a membership. I felt bad because it's like, I feel like I'm taking it for somebody who actually really wants one. But it just do be random like that. Void are cheaters? No, I don't think Void cheats. The only one I can say for for sure cheats is I've seen OG with my own eyes cheat multiple times and they will not take a stance against it. They won't even say we're against cheating. So it's just like, okay, so you guys are just cheaters. That is the only clan I will say for sure does cheat. What do you mean by cheat? Yeah, they either multi-account the other team, multi-account their team, and donate. But yeah, I've seen it with my eyes multiple times that OG does cheat, and they refuse to take a stance against it. So they are, in my mind, cheater clan. The old boy doesn't cheat, but new boy does. I haven't seen it with my own eyes, so I'm not going to throw that accusation around. And I have never seen a boy cheat, so I will not call them cheaters. I'm rooting for Roadrunner. He's a pretty safe bet. 
because it's like yeah he gets rid of this guy he's got these three on his borders and these two they can clear out that guy without a fight i don't know if these three would really unite especially fat gandalf i don't know how much it's in it for him geo i don't think would really throw in a hard fight greenland is mm, deutschland's going into him. okay Deutschland's got his own problems, though. He's got Luna going up after him. So Deutschland's out of the fight right now. Yeah, OG's accusations of us, us cheating is just that we have more players than them. Or than they actually cheat. It's crazy. They'll be like, stop cheating. It's just like, we have just more people than you. It's not cheating. You could you could get more people if you were in a garbage clan that's universally hated, probably, or throughout the majority of the territorial community. Lazy is the owner of Void. Oh, yeah, I've seen Lazy cheat a few times. That's a shame. Void was a very like established and reputable clan when I joined. Also, we suspect they join with a second non-OG tab, then full sin and get the land with their main tab. Wouldn't surprise me. We it is a known fact that OG cheats, so the fact that they would do that wouldn't surprise me at all. Who's lazy? He's kind of um a pretty well-known cheater in the territorial community. your monthly monthly rent in florida first off i live in nevada and i have a house so i have a mortgage not rent but also that's information that's pretty pro like uh personal so i'm not gonna be revealing it on stream i don't think territory has any mods they have it mods on the discord who do a good job because honestly a lot of our mods are mods on the main territorial discord too But to be honest, that is the main territorial page can kind of be a cesspool at times. But yeah, there's no like account banning on territorial because there's no accounts. There's no IP banning. So like you get a you get a player who's a known cheater. He'll never he'll never leave until he gets bored. I think only Luxus and Pharaoh are actually. Yeah. Are, OK, so the top two mods we have in discord or also discord mods on the territorial one tough task tough task to moderate that territorial chat yeah but roadrunners won this The creator's done a lot to get rid of multi-accounting. Yeah, he has. Credit where credit's due, but he's just kind of like facing an uphill battle. If you can't get rid of the player at the source, then can you can you really address cheating in all forms? Kind of tough. Like, no disrespect for him. He's just against a tough task. Main territorial service fairly toxic, and the non-corgi mods seem to not want to ban as much as we do. Yeah. I know because it's what is bannable in our chat that makes our chat like channel a little bit more honestly reasonable is just like not in theirs which don't get me wrong I hope you guys never leave because it's nice to have some reasonable people in the territorial chat like somebody was impersonating me in the territorial chat and like spamming all this awful stuff and i was like luxus was on i was like luxus can you take care of this guy and he's like oh dude no problem and got rid of him it's like thank you yeah 
It's not just me who thinks dumb people who don't know geography on TikTok shouldn't represent the United States. Here's the thing, brother. Let's say I'm a TikToker and I'm, I'm walking around the street and I want to get a cool video that's going to get a lot of likes. I will probably run into, and I, I just want to point out a picture of like, where's China on the, on the map? I'll probably run into 60 people who know where China is and I won't put them on my TikTok because nobody wants to see that. They want to see the one idiot who doesn't know where China is. It's, it's selective bias. America's no Americans know geography a lot better than the stereotype is, but it's just funnier to have the guy who doesn't know where China is. I was accidentally watching the stream one hour behind. How did I realize? <laughs> That's crazy. No, I didn't forget about um, zombies. Hey, Bako. Bayako. Brother, watch your numbers. You're expanding too fast. You're, you're, you're racing nobody to get the land. You're racing our teammates to get the land. Keep your troops up. Nobody really does bad stuff, so there's nothing to moderate. Yeah, no. The mods do a great job of doing that in the background, so it's not like the forefront of the stream is having to ban people. But they do ban people. There's been even a few today that I've gotten timed out. I think one guy got banned. Actually, I don't think anyone got banned. One guy got timed out and he never came back. Sorry, Biako. Brother, one attack, once a cycle, 15%. You just wasted so many troops that now you're going to have to build back up to be donating again. Slow it down. We play the long game here. Like, it's fine. You didn't do anything horribly wrong, but build up to red interest. And red interest is when the numbers on the top get red. Donate 15%. And then wait until you get to red again, and then donate 15 again. See, I'm at red interest. Donate 15%. There you go. Barrow, you've done a great job of putting yourself in a difficult position. <laughs> OG put a video out about being first. I mean, kind of old news. 
they'll probably get it back tonight but then we'll probably get it back tomorrow i mean they're gonna have to really do some grinding it comes and goes in waves we'll be trading with them for a while Where's Fallow? Good job, Fallow. GG. Shizzy, if I quietly ban somebody without drawing attention to it, do you think that I want people to then talk about it? Or do you think I want it to, like, that's a person who wants attention and I'm trying not to give it to them? How's the point system work? For everyone, at the, big, at the bottom of the game, at the end, it'll tell you Corgi's won X amount of points. Let's say 100. For every 100 points you get in game it goes 0 0.01 to the clan's overall score yeah let's do the zombies gg literally became a member and his one request was to do zombies so we can do zombies i like how you decorate your room corgi very cra uh, cozy thank you i got my 3d printing stuff over here i got like an, a clock from 1912 right there i like my room i mean over here's a disaster this is just painting supplies and stuff that I haven't touched for a few, like a month or so. Which I won't be showing on stream. <laughs> Most of my room is pretty organized and clean. It's just this table, which is a disaster. Is that a Bumblebee Transformer? How dare you disrespect Devastator? All right? Devastator's five robots that turn into one. Have you never even seen Transformers? Get out of here. You uncultured swine. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. I'm going to be honest, though. They did Bumblebee he hecka dirty in the Transformers movie. Like, they kind of redeemed him in the Bumblebee movie. But nobody saw that because everyone was so tired of Michael Bay just making garbage movie after garbage movie of Transformers. Talk about a guy you should stop giving money to. Stop giving money to Michael Bay. Stop giving money to Michael Bay. Stop giving money to Zack Snyder. They, they're, they're, they're done. They're done. Zack Snyder did one cool movie in 300 and he hasn't done anything cool since. Stop giving him money. It's just kind of like how we all collectively agreed to stop giving M. Night Shyamalan any more money after he messed up the last Avatar movie so badly. Stop giving Zack Snyder money. I think they're making more Transformers movies. I know. And it, it's it's so horrible because I love the Transformers franchise, but there hasn't been a good movie other than maybe Bumblebee. I still rate the 1986 Transformers movie, which doesn't even really lack a lot of cohesion because they had a lot of rewrites as a much better Transformers movie than anything Michael Bay's done. Snyder Cut wasn't worth the hype. Yeah, imagine your movie bombing so bad and then you go, wait a minute, it was so much better with my cut. Your cut's an hour longer and it's like, like, ah, oh, dude, yeah, you're right. It took the, tr the 
Justice League from like a five to a six. You're right. So much better. GG's boys. We should ban Poe's phone, Poe's phone account. Hate that guy. Says Poe. Thanks, Poe. Appreciate you. You'd give the original a five. That's generous. Yeah, you're right. Honestly. Just for the Martha scene alone. Was that in Justice League? Yeah, that was in Justice League, I think. I don't know. Let's get real. It's probably like a two or three. I hate what they I hate what they did with my my boy Aquaman. They made him super boring too. You took like the most charismatic actor, you cast him in the perfect role of Aquaman, and then you screw him over with the plot. Ugh. Aquaman could have been so cool. Granted, when you're talking about superheroes, Aquaman is kind of like C tier, B tier. You know, he controls the ocean. That's only <laughs> like, I love what the boys do in making fun of Aquaman because he's so like situational. Like if he's not near an ocean, he's pretty useless. Aquaman was always boring. I, I'll agree with you. He's a B, C tier superhero. But like, you got to agree. Jason Momoa was like the perfect guy to play him. He played the poop out of him. He put his all into it. And the problem with Aquaman, the movies isn't Jason Momoa or the character character Aquaman. It's the plot and a lot of his surrounding cast. Not to mention DC really likes to follow this formula of they write the plot. They seemingly write the plot and then go, where, where can we insert jokes? And the jokes are like, like it takes all the tension out of a situation when like a hero is under a like heavy attack and he just makes a quick, he makes a quip. You go, what? Can you at least pretend that this situation is dangerous? You're fighting a 500 year old God. Can we, can we take it seriously? <laughs> I think the next movie I'm waiting for is Sonic three. Yeah. Do you guys remember when we bullied an entire studio to you know, studios animation department to redo Sonic because he looked weird. <laughs> Oh, let's do a practice. Gabon to Sweden. Okay, we're gonna go Cameroon. That'll get us up north. I think we gotta go Niger or is it Chad? I'm gonna go Niger. I don't know if they touch. Frick, they don't touch. Chad. Should have gone Chad. Okay. Chad will get us to Algeria. Frick, I'm in Libya. Which will get us to Egypt. This is a bad one. I'm spiraling, boys. Which will get us to Israel. Which will get us to Syria. Which will get us to Turkey. Which will get us to Georgia. Which will get us to Russia. Which will get us to Finland. And we're there. Ah, stupid Niger. Try again. Andorra to Papua New Guinea. Okay, France. Let's see, we gotta get to we gotta get to Russia. So France to Germany. To Poland. To Belarus. To Russia. And then we go south through China. And then we go... Myanmar? To Thailand? To Malaysia? to Indonesia. Perfect. No, that one. 100%. All right. 
Let's wait for contest. Can we do this for the rest of the stream? Do what for the rest of the stream, Shizy? Can I speed run getting banned? Well, first off, you would have like the worst time there ever was because there's been people whose first message was banned. So you failed in that regard. Timeout zero, I'm on it. Thanks for the $2 donation, Poe. See you in a minute, uh, zero. Bye, nerd. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars, pal. Ah, <laughs> poor zero. Yeah, I think zero is the most banned person, most timed out person in this community. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone who can match the amount of times Zero has been timed out. He's also been banned three times. He has been banned three times. All on accident. Nineteen timeouts. It's probably a lot more than that. Bro, 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 bro. You stay there. Stay there. We gotta, like, cut him off. No, this guy's not on the team. Okay, so he just doesn't know what to do. That's fair. I know the music's dead. I'll fix it here in a second. Let's go. Make sure this doesn't run out. Let's go. Yeah, nice. Monkey, monkey, monkey. You got to slow down your attacks. You got to slow down your attacks. You attack once a cycle, which is the wipe bar filling up for like when you're attacking bots like less than 10% when you're attacking a player like 15% you attacked way too much and you paid the iron price for it all right music well Monkey, do just let people through. Let people through. Ah, thank God Texas time got through at least. Yeah, Greenland's coming over. Nice. Good job, Greenland. Get that boat down there. Yeah. There we go. Nice. All right, where's this union guy? It's not a problem for a long time. Plenty of time to wrap everything else up. Good boat, two dogs. Tea time. Get down there. Yeah, good job, good job, good job. Z's crushing in Africa. Good. South America. Oh, why are you guys going South America? Go North America if you're going to go with the Americas. This is never worthwhile.
Good job closing this gap, Dazu. Boys, why is Wally living? Take him out. We need the land. If he's throwing up a kissy face on the other team, it's a lie. He's not with us. If he was with us, he'd put Corgi Brothers. Don't fall for the mental trap. I'm also the mod that uses time, uh, that evades timeouts the most by using my alt. True, true, this is true. Yeah, I always stay on there, fellow. I think it's fellow. Yeah, it is fellow. Yeah, I've never had to take mod away from anybody. That's a big plus. We need elections for moderators? No, this is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. This is an authoritarian uh, rule. I rule, I decide. You do not get a rule in who my cabinet members are. I mean, it's for the most part an autocracy, like Barrow and Banana and Luxus will just promote people. But it's all, you know, people I trust, so I don't really care. But they'll do a lot of things without consulting me. But it's all things is like I would agree to do. So I trust Pharaoh fully. Pharaoh and me might meet in person, by the way. It might happen. I'm excited about that, Pharaoh. Pharaoh's the crown prince? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pharaoh's like kind of like the little finger of my kingdom like he just does a lot of things behind the scenes doesn't always consult me but pharaoh's not evil gg pharaoh's the second in command yeah i mean that used to be swiss but swiss <laughs> this is another thing swiss without consulting he like gave everything to pharaoh i was like that's fair <laughs> good call good call i would have done the same but like nobody nobody consulted me about making Pharaoh the number two guy. And it was just like, nope. When you when you start with people you trust the most and then give them the like the authority to make moves, it's just like, yeah, you shouldn't have to second guess everything you do. They do. Alright, let's go here. Let's go Middle East. Yeah, I'll just ignore what Pharaoh did to the Discord the week after April. Yeah, that was different though. That was different. That was like crisis management in regards to better TT going away. I'm looking at a room and thinking to myself, I could stand behind that lamp in the future. If you could just not do that. There's been some times when I've been really sleep deprived and I have my old chair over there and I put my jacket on it and I'll just, I'll get like, I'll have that moment of panic. Like there's a guy and it's just like, no, it's just my jacket on a chair.
Corgi, have you heard what the president of El Salvador has been doing? Yes, but um, nobody comes to a gaming channel for politics. That's a little bit too deep of a dive. I mean, I'm sure you could find a political streamer. Like, I know Hassan is pretty popular. So, you know, that's probably a good place. But just kind of know that, like, not everyone caters. Like, obviously, I care about what's happening, but nobody, not everybody caters to politics. A lot, for a lot of people, games are kind of an escape from the real world. So let's kind of keep with that mindset. What's a politics? They sell them at the dollar store? Yeah, 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 exactly. Dollar General, yeah. You got it. Does, it, does anyone else feel kind of robbed when you go into a dollar store and there's things over a dollar? Like, what is America coming to? <laughs> what is this garbage? It's $2.19. Even though it's like a spatula that if you went to Walmart would cost like five bucks. Horse Holly! Horse Holly! This thing costs more than a dollar. I didn't mean to donate to him. They used to be nickel stores. Not anymore, brother. I mean, has anyone seen, looked at the McDonald's? Does anyone remember when McDonald's used to have the dollar menu? And now it's the Mc, McDonald's one, two, and three dollar menu. But there's literally nothing for a dollar or two dollars. Everything's three dollars. <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, nice way to get around that. Or when like a Subway sub costs five dollars. And now I think it costs like 12. It's like, brother, you're not even using real tuna or real chicken. Like, You've gotten in trouble from science. from not using enough of actual tuna for you to call it tuna. And you're charging me ten dollars for it. Now I want Subway? Ew, dude, no. Don't do that to yourself. You're better than that. I literally just told you their chicken and tuna don't contain enough chicken or tuna to be legally considered chicken or tuna. And your response is, dude, now I actually kind of really want Subway. <laughs> Two foot long subs for $11 in Georgia. Must be nice. Must be nice. Oh, by the way, happy tax day. I hope everybody's done their taxes. I hope everyone in the uh, lower class, lower economic class is enjoying your tax hike this year. Which if you didn't know in 2019, they passed a tax break, but it was only for the rich. And then there was an escalating scale that for every tax bracket would increase. It's like below 250,000 would increase their taxes. So I hope you all enjoy paying for a millionaire's caviar right now. For every millionaire eating caviar, I want you to know you crowdfunded that man to have that caviar. <laughs> Mm. 
You know, I didn't even have lunch today. Yeah, you had to pay for a rich man's caviar. I understand. You got that West Coast tax? No, everybody got it, bro. It was for everybody. It's not state. And if you think like um, Nevada has state taxes, we don't. You're thinking California. I love giving rich people money. Yeah, let's go. It's like that saying is like the stock market's crazy. If it does well, rich people get richer. And if it does bad, we all lose our jobs. <laughs> oh, crazy. West Coast tax on Subway sandwiches. Yeah, I think you're confusing Nevada with California. Nevada, you got to think, is like the same level of taxes as like Florida or Texas. Why do you think so many content creators moved to Las Vegas? No state taxes. Corgi, you in Reno? I'm in Reno, yeah. The only thing Nevada gets really screwed on, specifically Reno, is like 20 years ago, they decided, hey, we're going to do a tax increase on gas of like 30 cents. And it won't take effect until 20 years later. Now it's taken effect. And we're in this awkward state where California has different higher gas standards than the rest of the United States. So the gas that gets shipped into Nevada has to come from really far away and specifically go to Nevada. So our gas is like $5. Our gas is incredibly high. Thanks, California. For saving the world. Ugh. But at the slight inconvenience of costing me slightly more money. Ugh. Why would the rich have to pay taxes or obey law? Ridiculous socialist ideas? Yeah. Here's a crazy thing. Until very recently, the IRS has made like basically zero effort into like auditing the rich because they just didn't have the funding to do it because it takes a lot more effort in people to audit a rich person than it does a poor person. No, I'm going down. Thank you for the warning shot, Greenland. It didn't really have effect, but it's okay. I'll hold him off as long as I can. Just got to get Morocco to get done th through this guy. Sammy, Sammy, help out. Help, help out there, Sammy. Thought you said no politics? That's not politics, brother. That's just the world we live in. Thanks, Magic. Yeah, waste your troops on attacking me. Yeah, get frustrated. Attack everybody. It's working. It's working. It's not working. It's not working for him. It's not a strategy that's going to work for him. Let's go.
There's no way you're fighting this guy where you're getting attacked. Come on, Greenland. Fight the good fight. We've got the numbers. Oh, that's not Greenland. Oh, that's that guy. Oh. My bad. I've been donating to the wrong guy the whole time. GG. All right, let's do Scandinavia. Is Togo next? Ah, Rick. I told you it was going to be an African country. I called this out in stream. Is whatever country I play as, people want to, like, they think of something right next to it. I was like, I guarantee you we're going to be playing in Africa again. We'll probably be stuck in Africa for a while. Until we get somewhere that's like, and then whatever, if we get to like South America, then we'll be in South America for a while. Double landlock Central Asia? Yeah, I can't wait for like Bhutan or Nepal. Those are going to be garbage ones. Don't think you've done Central Asia before? No, I'd be down to do one of the stands. I'd be excited if we got, like, Kazakhstan. Chad will be a disaster, yeah. Chad will be a disaster. Man, I can't wait for when we make contact with the aliens to try and have to explain our mean culture. <laughs> He's just like, what does follow the way mean? <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> well, sit down for a minute. This one's going to take a little bit of time to explain. I know the way, brother. Just can't wait for like a legitimate scientist to have to explain what a meme is. It'll be like explaining the internet to a congressman. <laughs> Got him. What's a TikTok trend? <laughs> Why are so many people doing the same dance? I don't get it. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. Like, if you really have to sit down and like explain to yourself, what is a TikTok trend? What is a TikTok dance? I think that's kind of a complicated question. Like, well, people like to do a challenge to see if others can do it. And like the rhythmic movement is pleasing to our people. like why 
I, um, why is dancing pleasing? Oh no. All right, while we finish up this one, enjoy chair stream and devastator chair slash devastator stream. Let's go. We got three minutes for the uh, free for all contest to North America. Hello, oh, how are you? I'm doing well, reset button. How are you? Where's the old chair? Right over there. I like want to throw it away, but it's just like, oh, it's going to take up so much room in my garbage can. You may be thinking, why not sell it? It's like, oh, it's, it's a dead chair, bro. Nobody would buy that. I couldn't give it away for free. Before you turned into chair? What are you talking about? How dare you disrespect the chair? Just break the chair? I know, I, I could break it down and fill... It still would take like a lot of volume that I use for trash. I need to get the trash out of my house, bro. Make a video destroying your chair. Then I would have to go buy something to destroy the chair with like a sledgehammer. It seems like a lot of effort. Not to mention I'm over 30. So the chances of me pulling my back while I do it are substantially higher. Oh no, I got full sand. Oh, what's that? Maverick just gets all the land back? Cool. 
You didn't even win. <laughs> you didn't even get me. Let's go. Okay, but can't you disassemble the chair and use the parts to build something cool like a chair tower? This man thinks I got enough free time to build stuff? Insane behavior. No, if anything, I need to start working out again. I'm trying to like get back in a schedule to do that. Like I've got the time. So much of my day is honestly just wrapped up in anxiety about, about, about YouTube. I just need to like lock it down. I'm better than that. Build stream? Nah, nobody would watch. Not to mention my only form of recording something is a web camera with like a two foot cable. Yeah, Pharaoh, you're disillusioned with your time in college with how much free time you think you actually, uh, like an average human actually has. Yes, we want chair tower. What would I do with a chair tower? What would I do? It would be a monstrosity. It would scare away the people coming into the chat. Like they would come in and be like, oh, I like territorial. I like domination. They come in, they see chair tower. They would immediately leave. Like this man's a witch. That's what you want for me, huh? To be burned at the stake because I'm a witch? GG. Chair tower is a great talking piece. I just imagine bringing a good girl over and be like, and this is my office and that's my chair tower. And her not just thinking like, I've come to the house of a psychopath. He's going to murder me. Can you stream the burning part i like fire oh for when i'm like burned at the stake yeah honestly i probably would that that would go hard dude that would get so much ad revenue <laughs> actually get taken out by youtube dude no but actually who would care like i'm going out you know girlfriend tower are you proposing that i bring over women disassemble them and uh, reassemble them in some kind of human centipede fashion i think that's against tos bro Yeah, I don't think at and is going to want to put their ad next to that, bro. That might be a huge out. Emma doesn't mind the chair tower. Who is Emma? You do it on kick? Yeah, you're right. I probably, if I could get away with it anywhere, I'd get away with it on kick. What a kick had people stream in the Super Bowl. Crazy. Manscape ad. <laughs> no, that'll probably go hard on um Oh, what's that what's that food delivery one that's always on people's channels? Alright, let's do Middle East. Kick is no law territory? I know, it's insane. HelloFresh? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Great on HelloFresh. Are you too busy disassembling and reassembling women? <laughs> Going out to the grocery store really is a time sink, huh? <laughs> That's where HelloFresh comes in. Crazy. This is just to be so stupid. <laughs>
Farrow got cheated on by his imaginary girlfriend? Dude, that's rough. It's just like she's in your imagination and you can't even imagine a loyal woman. That's rough. <laughs> Humblest apologies, brother. Yes, thank you. Oh, so sweet. Typical OG guy. Look how much you did. You took away that from me and you gave it to the rest of our team. You don't even know how to troll. It's embarrassing. You're like the troll who gets fired from his bridge because he doesn't know how to ask, ask a question. That's an OG player. He had OG on it. So. I'm going to go ahead and use my context clues as a detective to say it was OG. Probably a viewer trying to get a kick out of chat. No. No. It's not. Seen it plenty on and off stream to know that that is just generally their mentality. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume it was an action OG guy. He's trying to express his feelings. Could he have been doing it for attention? Yeah, sure probably a juvenile doesn't know how to get attention in his own way so he needs to lash out on the internet where he thinks he can get away for free why well, had a corgi in the name so uh, maybe a corgi too his name was like f corgi bro I I, I I i i don't feel like that was one of us All right, let's do Scandinavia. I know I was kidding, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are just like that. Yeah, it's it's a juvenile mindset, which is, you know, fine. Juveniles kind of need to, uh, it's something you learn how to, you know, get out of you. It's a lot more pressure as a child to like have the, um, to, like get attention or feel like you don't get attention and just kind of learn, especially while your hormones are flaring and everything. You got a lot going on. You learn that you grow out of it. It's just like if, even if you don't grow out of it, then you're then you're in real problems. You'll be like that guy on Twitter who posted that he has like an 80 IQ and thought he was like a genius. He's like, I've got 80% IQ. And it's just like you got an 80 IQ, bro. <laughs> like you're borderline mentally handicapped. Don't put that on Twitter. You just cell phone so hard. <laughs>
Some people are just like that. Yeah. Those are the people that they got to ride on. Don't ingest shampoo on the bottle because they'll be like, I think I just eat this. Like, oh no, not like this. I think I just, I think I just eat the shampoo to make my hair better. <laughs> an 80 IQ genius, bro. It's a civil war. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of corgis going against each other. Actually, it makes for kind of a challenging start. I'm looking around, it's like, Corgi, Corgi, Corgi. Those are the only threats I have. Crazy how nature do be like that. Original Corgi wins, though. Me and you, Pharaoh. Always knew it'd come down to this. The South will rise again. Get it? Because I'm in the South. Crazy that you would cut me off. GG's, boys. I can't win this. I don't have no manpower. Yeah, I played my borders well, brother. Played my borders well. Wouldn't allow that team up. Contest is up. Ah! Yeah, I made it. Bye, OGs. <laughs> Their numbers are just dwindling as ours are going up. Not a lot of players over here. Not sure what's going on, boys. Oh, we're the blue team. Ah, frick.
I love how people are like refusing to attack and then they'll see me going towards it and they'll be like, oh, I should go. Like, yeah, man, you could have just like let me have it or you could have done it what I did earlier. Boys, you two? There, grab the land. Does Corgi do Twitch? I have a Twitch. I haven't used it in a long time. I got frustrated because they denied me um, monetization, even though I earned it, because I had an apostrophe in my name, which broke their code, and they had no way of resolving this issue. I reached out to help, and their their thing was just like, there's nothing we can do for you. Legitimately, there was like, there's nothing we can do for you. And I was like, all right, I'm out of Twitch. It's like, you can't just like, let me edit out the apostrophe? Like, there's literally nothing we can do. It's like, this is your systems. What do you mean there's nothing you can do? And I was just like, all right, this is my first interaction with customer support, and it's garbage tier. YouTube, you reach out to them for anything, they're Johnny on the spot. Let me help you, Mr. Corgi. Right away, Mr. Corgi. That would be an inconvenience. We'll take care of that right away. Like I was having issue with like, you know how everybody's handles now, like at whatever. And I was like, I wasn't getting mine. Mine was still numbers. It was like, I reached out to YouTube support. They took care of it in two minutes. Meanwhile, Twitch is over here with their greatest scientists trying to figure out how to solve the apostrophe question. Oh, that really grinds my gears. That so many systems won't let you put an apostrophe. It's like, that's a part of a lot of people's names. Just let me have it. Or tell me ahead of time that your system is just like not coded for Irish people and I'll know that. That one really grinded my gears though. Morocco, go into the guy who's like attacking our team. Don't worry about that guy. Go into this guy. Go into the big guy. Don't just sit and watch a teammate die because you can get a little bit extra land. All right, fine. Don't need this guy. Hey, hey, thank you for subscribing. No, no one will donate to you if you're not helping the team. You're selfishly going for land instead of helping the team fight down the threat. You're not going to get donations. Dude, there's no way you're fighting fight oh my god this is insanity this is insanity who is this thank you fire burns for actually looking out for the team hello corgi hello harry how are you blue one yeah we did of course we did
I literally never watched Twitch. Yeah, it is mind blowing how little crossover there is between Twi the Twitch and YouTube audiences. Like Ludwig, you know, big guy on Twitch, highest subscriber at one point, went over to YouTube and he did a poll. He's like, how many of you guys followed over from Twitch? And it was like 10% of his au current audience on YouTube. I watch two Twitch streamers that also do YouTube. Yeah. I mean, generally, if a YouTuber does like a stream and it's not on YouTube, I'm probably not going to watch it. Like Amphibious Amphibian, I watch him a lot on YouTube, but he was on Twitch. And I literally never watched one of his streams on Twitch. He might multi stream nowadays. Ludwig, the Trackmania guy. Has he ever even done Trackmania? I mean, Ludwig is a, an interesting guy. Like, he does so many big production things that I feel like honestly flop. And then his girlfriend does, like, the streamer awards, which is now, like, a staple of the community. <laughs> it's just, like, he has he has so many ideas, and it's just, like, you just kind of look at him and be like, what was... What were you going for? It's just, like, how much time did it take you to get a dodgeball tournament, brother? <laughs> like, that was your big brain idea? like i'm not like the biggest fan of cutie cinderella but you gotta give her props she does like a lot of like she she's an idea person she gets a lot of good ideas i haven't streamed on twitch in years to be fair same with youtube okay here's like the best idea i ever heard is mason slash aurelius a lot of you guys know him he used to have a twitch channel where all he would do is he he coded it so that the game, the, the channel would just constantly play like the top, like 500 games in chess over and over and over and over again, like 24 hours, never stop. He did that for like two years. And I was like, what a genius idea. What a genius idea. All right, we can get a quick scan again. How to access schedule my schedule every day but sunday for the most part some days i just don't stream up i'm trying to get better at consistency but it is um it is a lot to put out an edited video recording an edited video every other day The chess thing? What's the chess thing? The chess boxing thing? I'm going to be honest. I think that was an L event. I think that was a dumb idea. He did he's, he did a good job marketing it, but I think it was kind of a dumb idea, if I'm being frank with you. And I'm a Ludwig fan. I like Ludwig. I just honestly think that was a dumb idea. That seems like an idea that was crafted at 2 in the morning when everybody should have gone to bed an hour ago. I think he's kind of at his best when he just has a good idea for like a stream. Like you, you, you got to remember, it's like, do you guys remember how big only up was? Ludwig was the guy who made that popular. Have you thought about multi-streaming? I don't think I have the internet bandwidth to accomplish it. I have thought about it though.
Didn't you make negative income from only up? No. I actually made positive income from only up? Who's full sending me right now? Crazy. Um, but that was literally like like Chris Mitchell and Rob Drake saved me on that one. <laughs> I did it so like I gave away a membership every time I fell. Oof. That was rough. Gained a lot of new members though. Overall, I feel like a lot of people came from the only upstream, or a lot of people came from the only upstream that stayed around. So overall, I think it was a good investment, but it did cost me a hefty chunk of my own purse. I would get a lot of sympathy donations because it's like small streamers donating his entire paycheck <laughs> to, to his only up audience. One last contest? Yeah, we got one more in us. Let's try and finish this up, boys. Yeah, I was imposter. Swiss has mod. Also, he would never type, hey guys. He would be like, yo, GG. All right, contest, we got time. Yo, what's up, Drake? Yo. I don't think Swiss joined three weeks ago either. Yeah. Not worth impersonating him. Just get banned. The person who's personating him has also been banned on his regular account. So he's just having a day with it. He'll tucker himself out. He probably won't even be back tomorrow. He'll be so tired. He'll be so tired from his trolling. That'll be, he'll just be like, I can't, I can't troll anymore. I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been here for a while just lurking. I know. I've seen you in games, bro. I've seen you. I've seen you, Drake. I know who you are. Look at that player account. Yeah, it'll be a nice point give for us. 416 if we win, boys. There's Drake. I like your new emojis, by the way. Yeah, they try and chase away this guy. So many people get caught up in like, I need the first attack to get a lot of land. It's like, you never really gain your land from the first two attacks. You get your land from like the fourth. It's like, look how much more troops I have than this guy. And all I got to do now is just block him. I just can, I go early on my full send or my infinite growth phase and I just blocked him. I have so much more land than he does. Love to get down here. Oh, thank you, sir. Get him down early, boys. Mama, give a warning shot. Our buddy was just attacked. He's not going to attack this guy anymore. Wow, that guy's crazy. Imagine if he takes this guy out and then just frees me. What's his overall plan? I think he just really wants to take this one guy out. Yeah, there we go. Good job, boys.
Good to see you, Queen T. Corey, it looks like we're going to get 15 today. I mean, this is the last one we're doing, so. But OG's like not even playing while we're playing, so they don't lose points They're in full damage control. So they'll probably do it in some crazy European time, like to my time. It's up to you, you Europeans, to, to keep us up. Let's go. There's like four of you. Attack. No, I could count on my queen T. She knows. She knows. Who's coming up? Roadrunner? Nice. Now we ain't getting on today's stream. Yeah, let's be 400 points. So that'll put us at 14.9798 potentially. All right, came back. Please don't stop playing territorial. Testis. No way. All right, we'll do one more for Testis. Nice boat, whoever this is. Is this fellow? No, this is Pharaoh, but bad. Which I think is Aziz or DJ. Is it offensive to call someone from Poland a Pole? Or is that just what they're called? That's not like a like a negative. It's polarizing. It's not rude. Eh. Shizy, you're an American. Shut up. <laughs> that doesn't help me. I'll just call him Polish. That's fair. Oh. Sorry, guys. Didn't even see. I think he full sent me. I'm not American. You're not American, Shizy? Wait, what nationality are you, Shizy? I thought you were an American this whole time. Oh, God, he's not an American? Frick. I thought Shizy was American. Shizy, what nationality are you? I'm from Serbia? Oh, my God. My bad, bro. My bad. Hello, my 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 uh, my fellow Serb. Dude, m mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> I thought he was just like Zero from America. Drake, I know you're British. Kraft, I think, is an American. Theodore, I don't know. Ahmed is... Ahmed, I think you said you were Indian. Me neither, just living in the UK. Hey, you're from the UK then. That's currently where you're from. So you are from the UK. Evening, morning, whatever, Mr. Corgi. Hello, cutie. I'm not American, but much closer than Shizy. Oh, frick. <laughs> that craft was an American, too. Fellow's German. Drake, you're Romanian. Ah, uh, yeah. That makes sense because your name was like before you changed it to Rob Drake for my sake. It was Rastuka. Rastuka, I think. Rastuka. Rastuka. Let's do um, Africa. 
I'm Indian American. Oh, okay, so you're in Amer America right now, but I remember you said you were of Indian descent. So I got that one kind of right. I'm American. I knew that, Theodore. Actually, I didn't. I actually didn't know. Pharaoh's Belgium. Luxus and Aziz are both Italian. We don't have any French people. Sonic is an American, right? Bill's Mafia is an American. Surprisingly, I'm French and American. You're in America. You're American. We count you. Welcome to the melting pot. See, Sonic is American. Called it. Nailed it. Subatomic Tooth, USA here. Yeah, I would have guessed. <laughs> I don't feel like the rest of the world has the fascination with atomic bombs that the Americans do. Axel, I'm going to go ahead and guess you're like German or something because you spell Axel different than we do. Or maybe even Swedish. Poe, is Poe here? Was Poe American or was he Russian? I feel like he wasn't American. Maverick is obviously an American. Our Southern General may pilot. Everybody, on, everybody be on Maverick's good side. When the apocalypse happens, Maverick's got to fly us out of here, okay? We can't afford to lose him. Getting a pilot, getting another pilot's gonna be a real rough one. Oh, North Dakota. That's right. Poe is from North Dakota. Dang it. Same, same. <laughs> North Dakota, Russian, same, same. I'm a Hoosier. Ew, bro. Just say you're from Indiana. <laughs> Stop trying to be cool, Indiana. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Green. By the way, Corgi, I'm Canadian. I'll remember that craft. We got one Canadian. Let's go. He'll be the nice guy. He'll be the nice guy in our neighborhood when the apocalypse ends. My parents are from Uzbekistan. My grandparents from my mom's side are from Tajikistan. Where are you now, Axel? And tell, tell me, tell me it's Germany. Tell me I was right on, I was spot on. I'm in New York. Dang it! Mm. Why do you spell Axel weird? Spell it like all the other Americans. Although, honestly, the millennials have gone wild with how we... The American millennials have gone wild with how we name our, name our children. Roll call for a teacher must be an absolute nightmare on the first day. Have you ever seen how some people in the South spell McKinsey? There's like Y's and, and like freaking W's in there and stuff. Like, did you not own an alphabet while you named your child? Yeah, but Chizy spelled McKenzie like the regular way, but they'll spell it with Y's and stuff. Here we name all of our females Emma. Crazy. Emma was like the most popular name for in America in like the 90s. Why is it always your team that wins? Um because we've been doing it for a long time to accumulate a number of high level players and beyond that we just have more numbers than everybody else we have a very n number of hot we have a high level of players who play at a high level i think it's the easiest way to put it changing checking my flight schedule i'm flying to fallon the naval air, air station dude that is close to reno that's like an hour away Enjoy Fallon. It's not exactly what Reno takes or the state of Nevada takes pride in, but you know, it's not that bad. 
When I worked in billboards, my territory was foul, and I hated going out there. It'll be my first visit to Fallon. Do you get to leave Fallon? You should leave Fallon. <laughs> you should leave Fallon and go to Reno. We are on average better than randoms. We also have a bunch of very good players. And we have some top players. Yeah. On average, the average Corgi player is better than the average rando. We have very top tier level players. I would argue very, um, with a lot of gusto, that in teams battles, we have the best players in territorial on our team. Like teams wise, I don't think there's clans that I, I would easily say that we have some of the top 10 players. I'm decent King of Pink. Yeah, you are far above the average player, King of Pink. Like, if the game's on the line and I see King of Ping in the position to, to, to like be the donation guy, I'm more than happy to do that. Wait, is today Tuesday? Can I make an Uther stream? No! Frick, it's Monday! Dang it! Somebody remind me tomorrow. You all know Pharaoh's best? No, no, no. I would say Aziz in teams battles is best. I would say Pharaoh's number two. All love and respect, Pharaoh. But of every territorial player out there, I would say in teams games, Aziz and Pharaoh are number one and two. GJ without doubts in the top 10. So a reminder to watch Uther's stream? Yes, remind me tomorrow. Somebody please remind me tomorrow. Ouch, I'm a below disease that hurts. I think if you're being honest with yourself, yeah. Come on. I'm putting myself below disease. And I've played much longer than all of you guys have. I would put me, Banana, and Luxus above Aziz. I don't know about that one, brother. You, Banana, and Luxus are obviously all in the top 10. Like, I think majority of the top 10 players in teams games are all Corgis. The reliable teammates like CR. Yeah, CR is a very good team player. He plays with the team in mind. Now, how do we stack up in 1v1s? I don't know. Probably not that high. Obviously, Fredo is like easily in the top 10, not top five conversation, if not best. But we just don't put a lot of effort into 1v1s. Like, I think Green Biscuit is a pretty good 1v1 player. I don't think I've played against him a lot in teams games. I don't think he's anything special. It's a different skill set. Oh, I got got boys. Good work over here. Love to see this. Yeah, this game's already won. With all respect, I don't think the best team player is any Corgi. I highly disagree with that. I highly disagree. You put Pharaoh, Aziz, Luxus, or DJ in a team game, 
They're if they don't win it, they will be in the top three. Like I'm not saying all top tens are corgis. I understand there's some very good team players outside of corgi, but like I really think even with a bunch of randos, that Pharaoh could still dominate the game. What is it all about the corgi team is it a duel for points or is it single player i think it's mostly just so we can all play on the same team but yeah we have the most it there is clan uh, like battles when we are currently the number one clan oh and that's not even talking about roadrunner roadrunner is a really good team player too Can we take care of this guy who's going to the back lines, boys? There's enough of you to attack. That would take like three, four attacks to get this guy out of the way completely. What's up, Corgi? What's up, Michael? How to check the war point status? Uh, we'll show you at the end, at the end of this game. Morocco, just fight him. You have four million. <laughs> Come on. All right, Conrad. So at the end of every game, you get these points down here. Now, the points are typically representative of how many players are in the beginning of the game. If you join a contest, which has the big crown in the middle of the game selection, that means you get double the points. So we got... There was 109 players in here, so we were in a contest, so we get 218 points. Now, how you calculate that is you go to, to the team down here, and for every 100 points you get, you get 0 .01 added to your clan's total. There is attrition you take for like not playing or losing. That happens over time, like a decay, and that's kind of how the points work. So currently we have 15 points. OG's down to 14.35. All right. But with that, that's going to do it for today, boys. Hope you had fun. I had a lot of fun. I will see everybody tomorrow.